has got you feeling too much It's feeling too much for you Then all my lovers gonna dance with someone Someone that shows love not to If all my lovers got you feeling too much It's feeling too much for you
Good morning, stream. Good afternoon to the Australians, but for most of you uh, lovely Europeans, good morning indeed. It's good to have you here on a lovely weekend to continue our lovely Battle Brothers run. More cultists, more issues that the game likes to throw at us. And my goodness, that last fight we did. Holy crap. What a crazy fight, and I can't believe we got out of that one alive. And, I mean, we did get battered and bruised, but no permanent injuries and no permanent death. So, very happy to see it, and keen on this team doing well. So, let's get back into it. Uh, we did have some level ups to do, so E. Willen's over here. Mr. Tanky Boy, uh, let's get nimble just for safety. Safekeeping shot. It's only 22 to 45. It's not, too, it's not too bad. It does reduce armor damage a bit as well, because I think, is it Cell Swords or is it PTR that changed it a bit? Kind of buffed Nimble, so it's a bit more useful. Yeah. Player's title, love it. Yeah, <laughs> I did a good title for the stream today. I was like, they're, they're literally sending the sink at us. The Cell Swords always sends us the kitchen sink. It's ridiculous, but you know what? We're going to stand against that sink. We're going to stand stronger together, chat, and not let any sinks go after us. Yeah, time to recruit. Yeah, we'll have some recruits today. We'll have some spins. We'll have all the good stuff. Uh, but yeah, it's it's good to see the team here. We just need to heal them up. And actually, here's the funniest thing, chat. I don't think our caravan's dead. Because remember, the donkey survived. <laughs> The donkey lives. I don't know how we did it, but we did it, and we kept the donkey alive. So we're still on the road again, and we are very close to our destination. I always hated this bend, and it, whenever we started this game, I was like, okay, this bend could be dangerous. And it eventually turned out to be dangerous, so let's just hope this next little bit of the trip should be fine. Hopefully. Hopefully. Thanks to the spim claws. Yeah, the spim claws helped, but also you guys spun in stuff as well, so it worked out in the end. It worked out. All of it worked together. So, let's go and get some of these spins going. Let's start getting into the action and seeing all the fun stuff go crazy. No worries. Let's also get the bingo Is card going whilst you guys are ready to I spin. spin. Oh, God, it's a Necro. Nice, nice, nice. Unfortunately, a Necro would be a bit crazy. Luckily, we don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, what's on this bingo today? We got the quotes, we got the spin claws, we got the majority predictions. No 95 misses. Oh, no, there is. There's the 100 on the 95. Easy fight, not into easy fights. There's a few interesting ones there that back-to-back -back 95s, yeah. Not too bad. Not too bad. Any more sacrifices? Yes. So, I'm really hoping for some more dab cool events today. We got our amazing conversion last time. So, last night we got ourselves Regime. Regime has converted to the Ranger, Cultist. So, he got all the brand new perks that he doesn't need. Uh, and he could, could, does he have, he gets Lacerate? Wait, I could do Lacerate on a range damage. Eh, if he gets a spare perk and I got nothing to do with him, I could maybe give him Lacerate if I feel like it. Maybe. Got up for dinner, so gotta go watch the VOD. No worries, have a good one, Sniper. Uh, we'll see you soon. Uh, two legendary enemies, says Grim. Yeah, and legendaries are definitely interesting and scary. Uh, but yeah, anyways... Great stuff here, and all the lovely conversions need to get continued, because I need more conversions. Now, what needs to happen is we need to get people drunk, specifically Nightcrixes, on our to-do list, and then we've got a few other people as well. So it's, it's rough being cultist, rough keeping them all busy, but hopefully we get a nice green spin from this. Thank you, Mr. Barlow. And hopefully, let's go for a nice light green, because this has been... You know what, Streamlabs? Whenever I don't want a light green, you always give me the stinking light green. And saying it's perk point because on guard doesn't work. Yeah. On guard, I don't know why it doesn't work. I'm really annoyed. It should work, but it doesn't. So I'm going to get the, sing the free perk point because this thing's a piece of garbage. Which sucks. It absolutely sucks. So yes, Sing gets the perk point and Barlow gets the stats. So Sing, instead of on guard, because this thing is garbage, let's put a red over it so we remember that it's garbage. Uh, what do we give you instead? Cotta Step could be fun. Cotta Step could be really fun. 
Yeah, because when you're playing with Fresh and Furious, if we get the turn that has the reduced attack cost, I can attack, get a kill, cast up closer to an enemy, not use action points. Because it costs zero if it's two less than the movement cost of your current tile. So it usually costs zero. Well, usually. And then it gives you a nice free movement forward, practically. So that's not too bad. What's the other choice we could do? Armor? Oh, as in like Battle Forged? We could do Battle Forged. He needs the Dav Cool perk. Oh, yeah, dedication. No, you're right. Sing does need dedication. But I will put Kata Step on the list of things to do, because that might work out. It might not be a bad play, because movement is important for two-handed builds. But yes, you're right, dedication is the right place. Balance could be okay, but I don't have balancing armor, and dedication is just free. So from 29 to get to 43, Sing is now a real frontliner. That's good. The new Battleforged perk? Yeah, Battleforged is only 5%. Or are you talking about a movable object? A movable object's pretty good. Immunity is stun, uh, weak steadfast effect, and weak steadfast effect if there's that. Full steadfast if you get to 65, yeah. Oh, you're talking about heavy armor mastery, Drace this. Oh, yeah, yeah, we could maybe do it. Eh, maybe. I don't know if I need that so much. Like, the heavy armor mastery is alright, but there's other perks that I like that are better than it. Rather than present what are you doing? It's 4 a.m. to so high five. <laughs> oh, well, 4 a.m. for one part of the world. Slightly not 4 a.m. for another part of the world. But welcome to the stream, man. Good to see you. Uh, okay, so Barlow's got his stats and he's got his level up. So that's a nice big boost. Holy crap, look at these stats. 119 to 122. Then we go plus 3, plus 3, and... Kind of tempted to go resolve because that gives defense from the dedication. Yeah, let's do that. More dedication, that's 71 defense. Barla goes for the muscularity for sure, and he has one more perk because of 11 from student. Is anchor worth it? Not really. Is grand slam worth it? Okay. We haven't used the Grand Slam before. Let me quickly save, because I also make sure science happens, chat. Grand Slam has not really done much. Uh, so we want to see if it does something now for us. And I think it might, because Grand Slam triples the effect of muscularity. All skills fatigue costs increase by 8% of your hit points. Ooh, that's an issue. Action point cost is increased by 2. Defenses are decreased by 8%. Uh, killing an enemy does an initial 50% but reduces 10% each time the damage to a random target adjacent to the target. So it does it does splash damage when you kill an enemy. 20 fatigue, and I have rebound, but I don't have any other fatigue options. So if I took Grand Slam, Barlow would not be fatigue neutral. Barlow has Rising Star, so there's a chance he can get more fatigue uh, perks. Maybe Signature Move combined with Grand Slam could work. First attack in one turn will build up less fatigue, while the second attack gets hit chance. But Barlow's not going for second attacks. It ups the AP for attack. It does, and that makes it harder for Barlow to move. Grand Slam seems very risky. And I don't think we have... I mean, we could maybe down the line, but I won't grab it now. I'm not trying it now, but when Barlow gets his Rising Star, I think we can do it. Because we'd have to get two perks in combination. The one next to Muscularity, uh, Block Training. Whenever you attack by melee skills, 1d100. It's lower than your melee skill, subtract the attacker's melee skill, receive only 30% total damage. I mean, with 125 melee skill, that's not too bad. Other cases gain 0 to 40% damage reduction based on the result. It's not too bad. What else do we have? We've got immovable object, which is 10% of your confined fatigue as damage output. 25 plus 14. You are not super heavy. 
That's not really that much damage. No, that's better for Battleforged. Uh, and Barlow's not being nimble, he's not really being Battleforged, he's kind of a combination. Vengeance is only 25%, so I'm not really sold on Vengeance being like the best thing. It's, it's an option, but I'm trying to think if there's a better option. Audacious charge is charged towards a tile of details by stagger an opponent. Do you free attack this 10% total damage on the target's heavy stun? Staggered or dazed inflict stun. Interesting. And fortunately that costs 25 fatigue, but if it costed 20, I would be on board with it. Fervor of battle, when you target Anna's arm penetration. Interesting. Uh, I don't really think that's a good one for this point in time. Push the advantage. Do you stagger? You stun. You don't really stagger. Whites of their eyes is not reach advantage. Uh, Opportunist doesn't help. Concussive strikes. Concussive strikes is from the mace perk group. No, it... No, it says head from any weapon applies daze. It's not bad. 52% headshot chance is not bad for that. Some mace perks are good, though. Damage against enemies who suffer negative effect is 5% per status effect. Heavy strikes, mace, and blunt damage. Dang it. And then this is mace. And then what other one that I could use? Push the advantages from mace. And bone breaker has to be mace. Dang it. Sundering Strikes is good, 20% effectiveness, and they buffed Sundering Strikes to be an extra bonus for higher two-handed weapons. When unarmed, effectiveness against armor is increased by 20%. That's not bad. 25% armor effectiveness. He already goes for 130. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Preparation of each turn, you gain bonus based on the existence of enemies around you. If there's no enemies within one tile, gain range depends. If there's no enemies within two tiles, gain initiative. If there's no enemies within three tiles, gain two action points if you do not use any skills last turn. Oh, that's the assassin one. Yeah, okay, never mind. You know, I'm leaning towards block training. Block training's pretty good. The only problem is enemies usually have decent high accuracy. But I guess damage reduction never hurts just to have damage reduction for damage reduction's sake. Nothing else here really, really interests me too much. I like the free de um, defense from Anchor, but I think Barlow, eventually he'll move, so I don't know. Yeah. Vengeance is not bad as well, but Barlow has high defense. 25% damage bonus is actually pretty good. And get up to, like, what? Closer to 40 damage? Not against Swordmasters. Yeah, but then you kind of want to hit Swordmasters, and you want to make sure you get, like, damage reduction against people hitting you. But I guess if we want to make you damage-wise, I guess that is only the real damage buff that you get. There's not much else here that will give you a damage buff other than Grand Slam and Vengeance. Yeah, without Nimble Battleforge, you might get hurt pretty quickly and get injuries more often. Yeah, that's why, that's why I'm thinking Block Training. Because it actually gives you damage reduction. And I might go Battleforged later. But Battleforged right now doesn't make the biggest difference. But I think Block Training will. So, because we're fighting very dangerous enemies, I think Block Training is a good choice. Yeah, uh, I think we'll see some nice effects of that as we go forward. So now playing Peasant Origin with actual Legends PDR and that worked on SS the test server. It's so cool the backgrounds get a free perk to whatever they like. Fisher has the portable network. Oh, that's so nice. Portable network is such a good perk, man. Glad to hear it. Uh, Ewillens, how are we going? Uh, we already gave you your perks. So let's give you your stats. Plus three, plus... Oh, is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. Do we go speed? Yeah, I think we go speed here. I don't want that resolve to go a little bit higher, but that's pretty good. Uh, Regime, what are we looking at? Kind of tempted with this Fresh and Furious. I think it works. I'm going to try it out. 
I'm looking forward to it. Fresh and Furious on a ranged character could do nicely. Uh, and that's all the levels we have to worry about. Good stuff. Let's hopefully we heal up a bit, but also we get another spin. Yes, good things, good things. Thief gets dodge for free. Ooh, nice. Barlow another another spin. Good as me. Quick fingers of the west. What we like to see here. Uh, yellow. Oh my goodness. That is a great start. You got your stats, and now yellow. And we are on the old version of Legends, so we can go for bodies and helmets, and Barlow wouldn't mind getting some of those. Are we getting more bros? Yes, we are getting more bros today. We have a party size increase, and I am happy to see definitely more bros in the party. Hopefully more cultists. That would be nice, because I'm trying to convert way too many bros. I can't get more bros that could get converted. <laughs> it's just too much effort in a cultist run. But yeah, let's go for an armored helmet, Barlow. Uh, what's a good choice? Helmets are usually easier to work with, so armors are probably the better choice. So yeah, let's go with body armor. Uh, okay. Not the best choices, but a 6% resolve does give you more defense. Because you do have dedication, so that's not bad. The 2 for 51, I don't like that. It's an upgrade for you, kind of. It's kind of okay. But yeah, I, I'm on the train of Resolve is better. It gave you an extra one defense. And then as you keep getting better with your Resolve over time with candles and stuff. Oh, if you do get candles. I'm not sure if you do. I still like the Resolve. So every defense counts. Love to see it. Good roll, man. Good roll. What does Eternal Darkness do? I'm not sure. Can I get one of those Fame Pole Arms? Oh, Moha, really? You're using the banner. This one will give you 20% accuracy. No, 10%. Ah. Oh. Well, I'll give you the 10% one, and then we'll give Crows in this one. Yeah, as much as I love the banner, it's not going to make a big enough difference for the team. So, good thinking for the Pole Arms, because they're very nice. Uh, anything else I'm missing? Nets? Yes, I am missing nets. And that's about it. I think we're ready to go. So, we have to quick quit our happiness training. Which was doing very well. And get everyone healed up immediately. Desperately, immediately, yesterday, pronto. Uh, da, 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 da. we have some repairs to do. A lot of repairs to do. Oh, dear. Uh, okay. Uh, let's do this and this. No, that's not much faster. Okay. Let's just hope we're safe. Please. Please, game. Oh, we get the fight versus 12 people. Good. Renown increase. Noble houses. We already know we can succeed in that. And none of these are instants. So let's do the Noble Houses one. That's a back-to-back. -back. Can we go back-to-back-to-back? -to -back -to -back? 24 enemies. 20 roster. Ah! Uh, 20 roster is kind of hard to do because I only have an 18 max, I think. I'm going to do 24 enemies. Good luck with that. Get resolved fighting. Oh, there's 22 enemies right there. Please ignore us for the moment. Please don't fight us. I'm too busy trying to heal up. Wait, why was I not... Was I not camping? I was not camping. Fudge. He gets more resolved due to fighting arenas. Yeah, arenas are good for that, Wingate. For sure. We have a 20 roster? Oh, we do. Why was it... Oh, because we went from 18 to 20 because of the ambitions. No, no, no. We were originally... 18. And then it went up. Yeah, yeah ambitions got us past that point. How's the ranger converted? Surely they're not lowborn. Hi, Smungo. We gave him brain damage. Brain damage is the way to go. Also, Caravan, success, and they're not even upset. They're not even upset they lost their only conscript and a single donkey was brought into town. These southerners are too good to us. I'm so happy. Also, these... These dudes are scared of us? Stay that way. Stay away from us. I don't want to fight you. Not now. Maybe a little bit later. But yeah, brain damage is the best way to go. Okay, we're all healed up. 
Fletcherstein, what are we doing? We've got ourselves some orcs. No, goblins. Great. That's... Maybe we do that fight? Maybe nighttime fight. Let's sell the Amber Shards. It's not a bad price. Let's sell some of the garbage in this inventory. Uh, I don't like Glaives. Not in that version of the game. I do like the Pole Flail, though. So I'm happy we got one of those. Get rid of the heart. Get rid of... No, those are hard to get. Get rid of you. I never looked at the horn decorated mace. We actually got that as a loot piece. That's just the same as a barbarian two-handed mace, pretty much. It's not much. Sir, sir, pull over. Welcome back to the stream, man. Stop hoarding every nook and cranny. Well, I still am hoarding. So it hasn't fixed my hoarding. I'm just, you know, slightly better at my hoarding. Ever so slightly. Not by much. So don't get your hopes up too high. <laughs> uh, 3355. Definitely beef winged is better. Don't like my war brands. Don't like the great swords. Uh, yeah, as much as the orc mace is cool, it's basically a reskin barbarian mace. And the two handed flanged mace is just better. Yeah, I gotta sell the Orc Mace. Yeah, some of the Noble Sword is an upgrade? I don't think it is. Actually, it is. We Willens can use the upgrade. Huh. I remembered Winax at his fancy sword. Cadiz goes for Cleavers. Sensibelli's fine. I need a bow upgrade for Regime, though. If I can get a lucky Warbow drop somewhere, that would make me happy. Yeah, it looks better, Snow Fashion. Yeah, I know. It, the fashion's important. Fashion is very important. Okay, what else am I missing? Leather jacket's not important. Orc helmet has a cool look to it. So I will consider it. Okay, that's alright. I'm happy with that. Uh, what else are we missing? Some extra helmet upgrades for adorable fashion. How shall we do this? Mr. Nykrix! Antlers? Antlers works. Regime gets the lady with the arrows, of course, because, you know, he's a bow. Makes sense. Makes sense indeed. Love to see it. Uh, do I go for the goblins? Maybe I wait it just a little bit. Let's check the recruits. We have ourselves a brawler. He is completely useless. Uh, God cripple? Nope, not happening. Brawler? Nope. Apprentices are hard to convert. Minor? No. No, there's not much here. We'll probably have to keep hunting, chat. Not really the best options, sadly. Totally feel your pain when trying to schedule across like three time zones, says Nykrix. Yeah. Time zones, not so great. Not so great when everybody sleeps at different times. Because the sun likes to be at different parts of the world at weird times. I blame the sun, chat. It's always the sun's fault. Okay, let's uh, let's quickly check the shops, because there is maybe something in the armory. Ooh. That's swanky for sure, Sir John. 23 for 234. It's not bad. 4 for 77 is not so great. 22 for 226 is not bad. 20 for 230 is better. And 4% sucks. Uh, okay. Helmet-wise, we have a 6 for 136. That's not bad. That's actually pretty good. 7 for 156 is a bit iffy. And then 18 for 1315 is kind of nice. But nothing I desperately need. So, any bar boots? No. Was there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. They got some chain attachments, but nothing else that I could really use here, sadly. Ober, thanks for the spin, man. Much appreciated. Random events. Okay, these better be good. 
I'm ready. I'm ready for sacrifice. Give it to me. Okay, I'm not complaining. That's a Dav cool moment right there. Is it on the is it on it today? It better be. It's the Dav cool stream. It's not on there. Unfortunate. But this dude's great. I'm happy to have another cultist. That's a free recruit. If I've ever said it. And it's an immediate sacrifice right after. Back to back Dav cools. Let's freaking go. Rigged. Everything above. Chat, it's up to you who decides. That's how it works here. It is the community cult who gets sacrificed. Is it Gagball Champ or is it Phantom? You decide. Go for it, chat. Is it with the snowballs? Actually, I could do the poll with snowballs. I could try. Can I? Can I delete the poll? <laughs> Poll's already active. No, no, no. It's fine. Can I display the contestants? I can't really show the contestants. That, that's the contestants. That's the two on the poll. I can't tell you what they do. I know that Phantom is trying to be a slinger, but he is a bit weak. And Phantom's our brand new butcher. Cannibal. He's the cannibal. So he's trying to be a butcher with the butcher cleaver. But yeah. Why not Sev? Have you been leveling him? Yeah, unfortunately, Sev's been leveling in the background because he keeps coming with us on caravans and stuff. So Sev is like the sacrifice that is not getting sacrificed. Because he's not getting chosen. I mean, I think he might be in the bottom six, but maybe not the bottom four. So I'm kind of sad. Most people are voting Phantom the Cannibal. Oh, no. Well... Phantom is not converted, and Gagball, is he? Is he a cultist? He was a cannibal, now he devours his body and his soul. <laughs> hey, hey, he lived and died as he wanted to be. Eaten, eating others, and then wanting to be eaten. But yeah, I think Gagball might be a cultist. Or is he a... Is he an apprentice? No. I think he's a cultist. So it kind of does make sense to kill Phantom. And yes, the community cult is is alive and well. And chat does seem like they're really going for the Phantom kill. Hi, Smong says, I watched Snowman streams while working on construction sites. No cap. If I can listen to music on headphones, I can lurk in the stream too. <laughs> nice. That's the way to do it. Appreciate the good recycling. Yeah, recycling of bros. It's, it's worth it. So chat has spoken. Phantom dies. And Winax is now a disciple. Four star candle. Sing gets us a candle. Moha gets a candle. Regine gets a candle. Roki, Sinzapelli, and Gagball. I'm glad you guys didn't kill Gagball. He was a cultist. <laughs> he gets a candle. And guess what? No one gets pissed off. No way. No one cares. I'm sorry, Phantom. I'm sorry. We love you, Phantom. But you're dead. And nobody cared. Oh, so many candles. Such a good sacrifice, Phantom. You were definitely enjoyed. Oh, dear. And Heist, I did, I did read your um, messages. I did. It was good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So I'm actually waiting for the stream. Hey, Tina. Welcome to the stream. Good time to come on in. For the sacrifices, welcome. We didn't kill you off, we killed off someone else, it's fine. And it's good to see the team collecting those candles. What a great moment for the team. And the fact that no one got pissed. So amazing. That training of uh, happiness camping throughout the entire caravan made a big difference. Absolutely big difference. Oh, and we have one more event. Sorry, that was event number two, chat. Event number three is... No, that doesn't count, because that's just the lore event. The chatty lore event. Event number three is... Cake! What do you want to do? You want to sleep better at night? I'm not the man you hired long ago. Uh-oh. I wish to lower my wage. Now, don't be saying no... 
cake. You know what? If you want to lower your pay, I am not going to complain. What an honorable man. He realizes this cult does not have infinite amount of cash. We don't deserve him. Cake is just too true to the cause. We literally... <laughs> I think Cake just crapped his pants though, chat. Hear me out. Hear me out. A cultist joins us. We literally commit ritualistic sacrifice. And Cake walks in and goes, Hey, you know the fact that you've been paying me too much? Yeah, I don't, I think you, if I lower my pay, maybe you guys won't kill me. That sounds like a good idea. And you know what, Cake? I think that's a good idea. We won't kill you. <laughs> I think Cake's on board with the cult. He wants to be converted. He does not want to be ritually sacrificed with everybody watching. Not a bad idea. I'm on board, too. Okay, let's keep it going, chat. We got ourselves a brand new cultist. Is he good? No. But he's here. Uh, does he have anything good that he could... Uh, cleaver? Throwing weapons? Wait, could he do throwing weapons? Hybrid throwing weapons. There's no wind reader. Dang it. And there's no... Oh, there's fast adaptation. 64 to 74 is pretty low, though. Uh, my never body opportunist... He does have Opportunist. So a new Sacrifice? Yeah, he might be a Sacrifice. You never know. Pole Arm. I mean, I could do Pole Cleaver. Pole Cleaver does get a 5% chance to hit. Kind of. And extra hits against Bleeding Targets. What's the second tier far right? Oh, Bolster? Bolster is really nice. Uh, it's a polearm special perk that gives resolve skills of defense by 25% of your level up to a maximum of 4. It's not powerful, but it's nice. So you can give everyone around you like 4 melee defense, 4 uh, resolve, and 4 melee attack and ranged attack. And ranged defense. Everyone gets plus 4. But it's not the best. What's the last row third from the right? Oh, that's delay. Delay is... Eh, it's alright. It's a kind of fatigue saver, but it's a very weak fatigue saver. Half of your fatigue cost of every third attack gets refunded. So not too bad. Do a mind over body throw build? Yeah, I probably should. Throwing does have good accuracy. I can always go light armor mastery. I can get... Signature move has to be melee. That sucks. Momentum's good. Opportunist is good. Bloodbath has to be melee. Whites of their eyes is good. Know their weakness is good. When attacking hits or not, reduce their initiative in combat stats. Uh huh. No, not that. Marksmanship is using ranged weapon, 10% of your base range skill as initial minimum and maximum damage. That's pretty good for throwing weapons. That's 10 perks. Hmm. I never body could work here. But what am I missing? That's how is that 10 perks? Oh, because I why did I click on these two? I don't know why. Uh Fortified Mind could make mine never body better. That is true, because I don't have rebound, do I? No, so we should probably go Fortified Mind and Ballistics gives you better accuracy as well. It's all about the accuracy with this build. I don't care about damage. I care about accuracy. So ballistics is good here. And I think that's it. Penance gives you damage. Uh, last rate helps the damage. De dedication's only defense. Peaceable screws you over. Navigator gives you Pathfinder to everybody. Oh, actually, I've got to find a navigator to fit in this build somehow. Navigator's so nice to have. Penance gives resolve to melee guys. Yeah, it's... Penance gives... Yeah, but it's only if you're missing health. See, that's the issue. It gives you 75% of your missing health as a resolve, not anybody else. 
Uh, I think maybe I ditch... Let's ditch Know Your Weakness. As much as I like it... Is there a spin though. that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a Necro. Oh, Throwing Mastery. Yeah, Throwing Mastery is important. Fudge, now I gotta get rid of two perks. <laughs> um... Ditch momentum. Momentum's not that important. And ballistics is really only 2%. What up, bags and belts? Bunch, you guys are making good points. Stop making good points. I want a million perks. I want bags and belts and weapon master. Because then it gives me the quick hands. Can I ditch fortified mind? No. Really? Welcome to the Himalayas! Snowcone? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. Okay, we ditch know their weakness to get bags and belts. Navigator's good. Uh, Departed, thanks for the reset at Tier 1 for 12 months. Happy sub anniversary, man. Thank you so much for the ongoing support. Much appreciated. Wingate, I saw that spin. I'll do it in a bit. I'm just really trying to fix this. Can I add Burks as a spin thing? Uh, yellow includes perks. We have added that now, and I kind of need to make that more official. But yellow, if you spin a yellow, you can get a perk. And when you play PTR and Self Swords, you need so many perks. It is a pain in the ass. Anyways, that's the build, but I might have to give up on one of these somewhere down the line. Maybe I give up on Ballistics. It's only two per tile, and you're fighting at a really close distance. Yeah. I'm just going to go with that. That's that's manageable. Kate, congratulations on the level up. Uh, do I go precise just yet? Probably not. I think I go nimble just to be safe. Oh, I'm not high enough level for nimble. Okay. Uh, I guess I go sword mastery. Wait, does sword mastery work with two handed weapons? Because I hate that swords sometimes split. Uh, let's save and double check. That is a 10, 25, and 25. 8, 19, and 19. Okay, Sword Mastery, good. Very good. Uh, get your level up, get your stats. Working on speed and health. Let's go speed first. Sinisabelli with the 3, 3, and... Fatigue or speed? Um, think about that plus five. It's it's pretty good. Yeah, let's go a bit of speed there. And we're grabbing on guard sucks, so ignore that. Let's go nimble first. Uh, Gagball, you survived the uh, culling, as they say. Congratulations, and you get rewarded with patient. Oh, actually, entrenched is better. Kind of. Yeah, Entrenched can stack more. I like Patience, but Entrenched is a little bit better in longer fights. But yes, we do need to name the new bro. I'm getting to that. I'm slowly getting there. When it comes to Cell Swords, I am not used to the perks, so I need to re-look over the builds and make sure I know what I'm doing. Uh, random events again. Okay. Thank you, Wingate. No more Cultist events. Oh, but I won't say no to this. I will not say no to this. Name the bro first before the event. Yeah, I could. I could. But I'm doing the events first just because I'm doing the events first. <laughs> A corpse of twisted metal and splintered wood. At home amongst the headstones. Mm -hmm. The headstones are here because Crozen is now become Cake's ward. Cake has an apprentice. And Crozen has gotten three melee def skill and four melee defense. Insane. Absolutely insane stats. Wonderfully done, man. Kate is gets afraid, um, because the shadows are scary. Uh, you know what? The dark and the night is pretty scary. I will agree to that. And last but not least. Oh. Nobleman along the road. Ewillens, you're a thief. 
Would you kindly uh, relieve him of his possessions? Thank you, my good man. Good events, except for the frayed, but good events. Uh, Dev tool, could you turn off? Thank you very much. Okay, name spinner it is because we have a brand new cultist. So let's get you guys in here, and no, not that. Who was first on the list this afternoon? It would be Sauron's first. Do. There we go. Cults being afraid of the dark. Yes, it is a new look for it. Activilis, I need to add you to the list. It's a new look for the cultists, but hey, hey. We don't judge. If an occultist has to have a nightlight before he goes to bed, make sure you plug in that nightlight. It's okay. He's allowed to do it, chat. <laughs> Little mini dav cult. Dre is this, you're on the team. Right? Wait, where is Dre's this? Dre's this is not on this team? Did I kill him? Sing's name's not on the spinner? It should be. Yeah, no, no, your name's on the spinner. You're right there at the bottom in the dark blue. No need to panic, Sing. All good. But yeah, I don't think Drazes ever made it onto this team, which is surprising. He might have made it on the previous team, but Drays this. Welcome. I don't know what to do with this character, but I guess hopefully ranged throwing weapons will work. I'm just hoping. So please make me proud. Um... Yep, dev tools turned off. Raise this with a throwing build. Throw. You're the chosen of Davkul. There you go. You'll be fine. Just get your candles up and it'll work out in the end, somehow. So welcome, welcome to the team. Uh, we have some more higher reads, hopefully today. And uh, hopefully more cults. So let's see how we go. Uh, let's go to Holsnoven over here. Uh, Holnishoven. You guys are still patrolling, and uh, luckily, you're scared of me. Makes my life easier. Uh, Ironmonger is eh, not worth it. Thief? No. Ratcatchers are good. Mm, maybe not that one. Unix. Can Unix get converted? I don't think they can. I'll double check. Let's see, where is my list? Unic, Unic. Needs dumb. Dang it. Why are Unics smart? They've got post not clarity amid infinitely. Just infinite post not clarity. They're just in unable to be converted to the dark side, chat. Darn Unix. And then the fact that apprentices need dumb annoys me as well. No, they don't need dumb. Apprentices need brain damage. They're that smart. Okay, uh, Caravan is three days to the northeast. Is that worth it? That could be risky, but we did just finish a sacrifice. I'll do the follow the tracks just as an easy start. Let's get away with some easy questing. Uh, and buy some extra tools. And an extra bandage. Because I'm sure someone could use a band-aid. Oh, Drazus is already in the fight? Uh-oh. This could go only well. Now let's give him a crossbow early on for the accuracy. Give him that and a bandage. Actually, give him a shield for emergencies. There we go. Minus one vision is fine for him. And body armor of 165 is kind of okay. That'll work. That'll work indeed. Okay, quick little camp. Uh, 
That'll work. Three days is a big training montage. Indeed, it would be. Um, and also a very scary training montage. Because Cell Swords will send some scary stuff after us. Oh, these brigands are having a good time. Do I bring them both together? I don't really want to. No, I, I kind of want them to... Yeah, go somewhere else. Separate. Separate. Good. That makes my life easier. A juggler, a few outlanders, a monk, a war dog, a brigand leader. This is a fight we can easily take. The 24 fight if I bring both of them in? Yeah, but then I have to deal with a hedge knight, and I kind of don't want to. Oh, they got a single leader. Yeah, yeah, we got this. We got this. I'm not worried about this fight, and I don't think we need a prediction for it. What are outlanders? Outlanders are kind of like southerner northerners. They're weird, and they're kind of like squires, but weaker. They're like baby squires. So, yeah. Not the worst thing. I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. Well, maybe there's no prediction, but at least a spin might make some issues. Thank you, Departed. It's a monster. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! <laughs> I hate green strats. It's such a pain to kill. Ugh. Well, we got our work cut out for us, chat. Thanks, Departed. You're a real one. Uh, that dude's almost dead. That's good. Want to spin for boosting Winax? Yeah. <laughs> I'll be alright. Well, I'm glad you have some votes of confidence there, Departed. I'm glad you're feeling confident about it. I may not be on the same page. The stupid guys are annoying. Barlow with a good kill. Uh, Barlow, how did that go? I didn't show you the block training. Okay. I thought it was going to show it, but that's fine. Cake with a good dash. That already gets some unhappy faces. And as a 38%. 42% gag ball. Yeah, I mean, Entrenched will get you there eventually. Eventually. Crozen. Not lucky. Draze this. 15%. Actually, take the high ground. 25%. Eh, oh well. <laughs> the tree gives Naster injuries? Yeah, he does. He definitely does give injuries that I don't like. Not a friendly tree. Uh, Roki, let's go over here. Regime fire arrows are always welcome. Let's get rid of... Yeah, I don't like that dude. Let's get rid of him. Oh, I could have attacked normally because he had a fresh and furious turn. I have to get used to that. I am not used to it. Now, Nykrix... I want you to stay next to Gag Ball. But I kind of need you to do damage. 76. Okay, just do neither of those options. And I'm just going to have to live with it, aren't I? Also, sing. sadly, the dog's got to go. Didn't have much of a choice there. Yeah, never going to trust on guard. If fire arrows do extra damage to the tree, kind of, kind of, not really. Trees technically take a little bit more damage from fire, but it's kind of not really noticeable. Oh, there goes the stinking shield. Not a good shield anyways, so then again, I can't be upset. It's just the heater shield with no durability. Hi, tree. Could you stay away? Whoa, what was that? Are you kidding me? He has a chain. I didn't see it. He can attack from three tiles. I hate jugglers. That was all headshots. Oh boy. Fun times, chat. I thought I was safe. I am not safe. Good star job, Sinsipelli. You're nicely done. Stinking chains, man. Double 68s, thanks. Lightning damage, it's now or never. Yeah, it helped a little bit. 
There goes another ranged bro. No, I can't lose Regime. He literally just got converted. They're trying to kill him. I hate the enemy. They always just want to murder one of my bros instantly. The one-two combo. Why? Why are the enemies so good at aiming at my ranged bros? Oh no, no, you're an idiot, Raider! You're producing more baby shrats! Oh no! This this fight's going south, chat. I'm not happy about it. This is not what I was expecting. 19%, 40%, let's get rid of the stupid poacher. It did not work. Spim claws? I might have to spim claws the green shrat. That is going to be almost impossible to deal with. Because they just drip, trickle down your health so much, and I don't really have a good deal with it. Yeah. So much for an easy fight, and we don't need predictions. I know, right? Why did Departed have to change things? Why? Why did you do this to me? It was going so well. Anyways, it's time for a spim clause because I... I gotta get rid of this stupid tree. Uh, I'll keep his little saplings, though. That that happened, so that stays. Uh, now pink. There's the bingo. No snow uses a spim clause, yes. There's a pink. That's a nomad leader. With a famed set of items. What? I hate spim claws and cell swords. Can I just get a baby something? Green skin in the back? It's, yeah, of course. Of course. What else is it? Is it going to be like an undead? It's a free kill. Okay, I'll take the free kill. Um, I guess... I kind of want to kill the juggler because he's a jerk. I, I think he deserves to die. Also, bingo. Easy fight turns not so easy fight. Yeah, that's definitely... That's definitely on the bingo today. Uh, juggler's going to be a pain in my ass. So I think... As much as I don't like Mogan's The Menace, I could kill him. I think he could also be a distraction for the southern leader, because they will hate each other. I kill the juggler, because he's going to just annoy me. Yeah, okay, that's my free kill. Okay, that's the spim claws for now. 95, that's a big hit by Roki. Sadly, not a kill. 43% gag bull! That's a good hit. Let's go. Keep it up, my man. Kate gets a kill, and unfortunately the saplings are happy about it. Uh, Regime, there's nobody else to hurt you, and this dude should probably have no more ammo, but I'm gonna go backwards just to be safe. Back we go. I don't trust anything at this point. No, we're good. Dang it. Uh, Kate is with a 46. Nice, double hit. Sing, do you walk up to the scary dude? I mean, I don't want to. So let's not say we did. Right? Don't make the nomad's life easier. Yeah, let's just stay put. Uh, Nightcrix, go for the nice, easy kill. No Berserk, which makes me sad, but that's okay. Kills a kill. Barlow destroys the Outlander, which is great news. And Crozen sits back here for safety. That's a fast Outlander. He went first. Double 68s, Evil says you rolled double 90s. Not, not really what I was expecting. Or wanting. No, don't go for my back line, you stupid nomad. Since Billy, that was disgusting. Did you just one-shot that dude in the face? Yeah, you did. And the 58% Sid Zapelli is carrying this. This top flank is carried. Let's go. 75 by Moha. And... That's not a nomad leader? But he's got nomad equipment. 
The dude just got scared from me killing his allies. That's a brigand something. Warlord, maybe? No way, we brought it back. We actually brought it back. I'm okay with this. That might be a famed outlander, you never know. But don't let him flee. Yeah, he's got good loot. I can't let him flee. Does he have back to basics? If he has back to basics, that's going to annoy me. No, I've got to catch him. Sing, one, two, three, four. Can't catch him. But I do have a dog. Maybe that helps. Maybe. Don't get... Let him fear undead. Yeah, undead's going to be annoying too. I don't want that to happen. The monk's going to rally these two, which annoys me. And attacks the thingy. Oh, we can make infinite saplings to annoy the, the orc. That actually kind of works. 38% this dude dies to the bleed. Wonderful news. Barlow, I need you down here. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a necro. Roki with the scare. No, I don't need more spins. This fight's cleaning up, kind of. Ah, red. Okay, red's usually not too bad. In the north. It's a conscript. Okay, not bad. I'm okay with that. Dev tools is turned off. Good. Uh, Cake, I want you to ignore everything you've learned and sit here. Thank you. Raise this. Oh, I don't like the Mogan menace. Great. Sing, you can't chase down Lothar because you have to stop Logan from going for a back line. Oh, and you made him flee. That's beautiful. Well done. Okay. Uh, hit the heartwood strap to make more baby shrats. Nope, that didn't work. Nykrix, good hit. Regime, what are we doing? Is the dog even going to chase him? I don't think it will. Fire arrows, his turn is done. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, I, I chased him next turn because he's slow. No, 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 we got him. We got him, chat. No need to panic. And the raider's already dying. That's good. Moha, get closer. Conscript's fine. Don't flee, buddy. Don't flee. We don't want to lose you. Shrat's having a good day. Yes, go after the big dude. Yes, give him some grazes. Thank you, Shrat's. I knew I could count on you. Let's get Grim over here. The lightning kill is glorious. No, don't come to me, you stupid Shrat. Go after him. Yeah, let's put Crozen in melee because this dude does not have back to basics. If he does, I'm pissed. Uh, let's get Moha over here. And Barlow catches the guy on the flea. Good. Got him. Okay, that was not really what I wanted. But it's what I got. So, gotta live with what you got, chat. Mr. 74, that is unfortunate. No luck on the split. Okay, nothing there either. Can I even catch this dude? I might have to use an arrow to try and catch him. I don't think I'm catching him. Confident orc would be nice. Well, I don't really want him to be confident, but sure, why not? 95, regime. Nice. No one escapes. Dude's dying on the way out. Good. Barlow. Good. Orc, making new friends. Good. Since Pelly's exhausted, not so good. Concert goes after the saplings for some reason? I don't know why, but I'll take it. Oh, okay. Yay! More grazes on the orc! <laughs> Thank you, saplings. Thank you. And you know what, saplings? I'm going to shield bash you. Oh, you're immune to being knocked back. Forgot trees can't be pushed. You can't tell a tree what to do, chat. They just won't listen to you. Okay, well, we're fine. Why is that an 18% though? That worries me. Does the Warlord have Killing Frenzy? Well... He has Cult. 
He has Honor Heritage. Honor, Honor, bleh. Honor Heritage, which is weird. Exude Confidence, which is always a tricky one. But no, he doesn't have too much. He's got Dread, which means he's probably got Fearsome. Yeah, interesting. Not what I expected. 35% Crozen, nicely done. Get the Warlord away from my shield. Yeah, that's true, Winax. The shield would be very bad if you let him at it. So I'm going to try and make sure that doesn't happen. Sing, good stuff. No lucky hits, unfortunate. Fire Air of the Warlord. Let him sit in the flames of glory. Let's go, Regime. The flames of death, cool, most likely. And we miss a 95, roll a 100. Thank you, Barlow, for the lovely, lovely play. As we totally wanted the spin there. The lovely bingo play. And Cinzapelli, do we go after him now? It's a little risky. He's already confident. Fudge. I gotta let him whittle down. I think we wait for him to have his turn. We'll go here. Winax, your shield will be fine. No, there's no way he does 96 with one attack. If he does it twice, then you're kind of screwed. Yeah, it's fine. Yes, the more grazes. Oh, I love the little sapling. Little sapling goes hard. He's doing his best, chat. He's doing his best. Cake will sit you up here. Barlow, we get you here. Slowly kill the dude. Nice. If we take too long in the third spin, I'm trying to get out of this fight. I'm working. I'm working for it. No, nope, no luck there. Fire arrows is what I need right now. Nice. More fire, the better. Yes! The dude's out! Oh, is he fleeing? If he flees, that's going to be interesting. It's not going to be good, but it's going to be interesting. <clears throat> okay, you're going to have to cake. You're a jerk. Uh, I'm going to go here with Winax. Winax, stay safe. There's no way he breaks his shield here. If it does, I'm going to be pissed. Cake, no luck on the 35s. Roki, I want you... Twenty-three defense. I want you here, buddy. <laughs> make sure I make the good consideration, chat. Twenty-three defense is not really a place to be. Nightrix, you sit here. Crossbow is not going to do much. No, the twelve percent. He pushes through to go after Roki, anyways. Fudge. Yeah, I did consider that issue. Yeah, he has the push socket, just as you say it. But we get the 20% from Gag Ball. Let's go. And we get the fire arrow. Good. And we rush him. We just rush him right now. Standing in fire since belly. Bold move. Let's see if it pays off for him. Okay, we kill him now. We have to kill him now. We taunt. Actually, we can taunt. But we still kill him. Is that the American Sniper slingshot version? Yeah, apparently so. The luck of the American Sniper. But yeah, taunt just wins this out. As long as he doesn't break the shield, taunt's fine. Cake with the double 38. Good plays, good plays. Frozen, uh, I can actually put you here. You're fine. 39%. 39%? He's got survival instincts. I hate this dude. 22%? What? Oh, dear. No good weapon master as well as the banner and Nets have fame puller from the last stream fights as well. Yeah. Moha doesn't really have anything good going for him, but yeah. Do you mean the Thea US stream? Wait, what about the Thea stream? Do you know how you are in the last stream, says Moha? Oh, yeah, the Thea stream was great. Love that game. Can't wait to play more of it. Uh, Regime, I can't really get an arrow shot here, so let's move you forward. Did you get a character, Moha? Yeah, you got a character, I think. What the double 27? 
What? What do you mean double 27? Dude, you gotta go. Hey, Willens, do you have a net? No, you don't. I'd miss double 50s, and he gets the double 27. Wow. Crozen, you have no accuracy, so just go for a net here. He's immune? Chat, this is my nightmare. This is my nightmare. Immune to freaking nets. Cell swords thought of everything. I hate you, cell swords. Oh, this is bad. This is actually bad. I'm getting punished for my 20%. Yeah, the 20% on the sling. Don't do it. Don't hit another 20. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so freaking done. Cell swords, just take me, my house, take everything I own. Just take everything from me. 27, 27, 24, 29. What? 27, 27, 24, 29. I'm getting a calculator up. 0.27 times 0.27 times 0 0.29 times 0.24. That is a 0 0.5% chance of happening. 0 0.507. That's some BS right there. In what universe do I get the 0.5%? This freaking universe. <sighs> Fudge. That's some bull right there. And this dude can't be netted. DD quote anyone? Yeah, DD quote would be great. Cell Swords Universe? Yeah, Cell Swords is a pain in my ass. Such a terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. Well, you know, that is true. That is the perfect DD quote for that vibe. Terrible assault can't be unanswered, but there's no way I can answer it because it's impossible to kill him. Oh, and I keep getting headshots on him. Can you guys stop hitting headshots on him? And missing 60s and 70s? Just, you know, asking for a friend. Double 57s. How does he hit so many 20s? He rolled a 13. A he could have hit anything he wanted there. I missed a spin. Oh, God, it's a necro. No, and because of that, because of all that pain and suffering, it's another time for another spin. Thanks, gold hand. Oh, it's another green skin just to ruin my existence. Yeah, it's an elite. Of course it is. I hate elites. Oh, and he's still so freaking confident. Now he's not confident. Thank you, Sinsipelli. Barlow, that didn't work. Oh my goodness, I hit a 52 with Crozen. That's actually nice. Oh, and I can probably net the elite. That's actually maybe the only good thing that can come out of this. Elites, I don't think are immune to nets. 48, let's go, Nygrix. Holy crap. Every roll's independent, so after third roll, the chance of the last roll is still 29%. Yeah, I know, but if you're looking at probability, it's that's how probability works. You c combine them together to be, like, the chances of that happening. But, yeah. Thanks, Guildhand, for the helping. But, damn. Damn, that hurts. That hurts. Oh, just my luck. 0.5%. Nykrix, the Warlord Slayer, he's done it. He did get that hit we desperately needed. So I'm happy for that sense. You blame Snow for taunting? Yeah, but if you didn't taunt, someone else is going to die. Then again, sacrificing someone else was what you were sort of hoping for, weren't you? <laughs> because you didn't want to die. Not really on your agenda. 
Okay, Elite's going and saying hi to Sing. That's fine. Let's get closer. High ground. Can't get the fire arrow off. Oh, I should have used the net. Fudge, that was a mistake. Too eager, chat. Too eager to get some damage output. Uh, Ewillens, you just sit over here. Barla with a big hit. Nice. Sinzabella, you've got no armor. Maybe I just don't put you into this one. And Crozen, if he pushes through, that's going to annoy me. So let's not have you in there. Roki could die as well, so let's not have you in there. But it is night time, net time for Moha, so nicely done, buddy. And he breaks up, but it wastes his turn, so I'm okay with that. Blame GB? Yeah, it, it's easy to blame GB, chat. We don't always take the easy road out, but when it happens... When it happens... His shield survived. That's the thing. His shield lives on. His sword lives on. When Axe is dead. But his equipment lives on. So that's the only real good thing out of this. Is that the shield just wasn't split in two. What tiny character? Oh yeah, that's right! Your Cake's wife. Yeah, Moha, your Cake's wife. Uh, Cake is... Cake's the goblin, right? And Moha is the orc. It's a match made in heaven, also known as we went to the matchmaking game and they, they pitched you together. <laughs> and chat chose you guys to be together. It was great. Oh, we missed. And Ambie's the child. Yeah, Ambie's your child. So, so you're married to Cake and Ambie's your child. It's great. I love Thea. <laughs> Produces the craziest turns of events. And since Ambie's a half-breed, we don't know if Ambie's going to be a male. No, we know she's a female, I think. But I don't know if she's going to be an orc or a goblin or something random in between. We don't know what's going to turn into when she grows up. So, the Thea, it's just the randomness happens and you just go with it. Okay, we win the fight, finally. Romantic chat. Yeah, chat's romantic. Don't know how they do it, but... Winax, you had a dodge chance of 81%. Grim, I'm sad, and <sighs> only dodging one of those attacks would have saved your life at least, but four in a row, I didn't expect it to happen, did not expect that, <sighs> oh well. We do keep the loot, and we get some new loot, though, so on the side we get ourselves a... That does not explain it very well. I'll have to look that in the inventory. We get a brand new shield, 72 for 20. That's actually pretty good. I like it. Nice new shield. Nice new armor piece that's a base. And that's about it. We get the heart of the tree. And interesting stuff. Brutal RNG, yet unbelievable. Yeah, a little bit. Oh, I lose five items in my stash. Okay, would you kindly not do that game? And I would appreciate it. Thanks. You know, just putting it out there. Don't want items to be disappeared. Uh, Cat and Nine Tails sucks. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We'll do that. Nice. One bro with so much loot. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We, we did get the loot back from our bro, so some of that loot looks good, but it's ours. But the enemy did drop some nice loot as well. Specifically, yeah, that helmet's interesting. Is it good, though? Tier 2 is the 1 for 35. Love the Joker mask. This is the famed Iron Mask. 15 for 251. That's alright. It's not great, because I don't have that many Battleforged bros, but it's not bad. Yeah, I, I like the Joker masks, though. Joker mask is always good. So we need to get some tanks, chat. I need to go hire some tanks. Drazes with the throw build. Let's go. Not a bad first level. Let's get the fast adaptation, because you're going to need it. Uh, Moha with the flail whip whatever build. Let's go and grab you. 
Is there any accuracy perks I've missed? I mean, signature move is kind of an accuracy perk. For your second attack. Exploit opening, not really. Backswing is not accuracy, but it helps when you miss. Primal Field helps you hit head chance, but that's not actually enemy hit chance. No. And Rhapsody is... How many stacks do we get hit? Oh, Rhapsody's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. As long as you're not getting hit, Rhapsody's okay. I'll consider it. Like, you need to work it really hard. It says, oh, it's only dagger. Fudge, you're right, Starface. That's why I like Rhapsody, but it keeps screwing me over because it's only dagger. Nah, that would have been nice. Yeah, I think I'm okay with the rest of these. Uh, Moha, let's get you ready with... Probably... Yeah, let's get Signature Move for now. Because we're going to switch out of this weapon eventually. And when we do, it'll be better. Plus one. Oh, would you, would you please roll better? I'm trying my best here, man. I'm trying so hard. Uh, let's get Fatigue up. So you can keep doing whips and disarms and stuff. Uh, Nightrix, what are you doing? You are trying to get Scintillating, aren't you? I gotta save before I do this, just in case he doesn't get something we need. It's like Adaptive, you never know what you're gonna get. Holy crap, he got a lot. Too stubborn. He got special perks. Too stubborn to die. Damage reduction for every hit missing hit points, that's nice. You got Dread Nova. Applying a fear on enemies, nice. What else did he get? Barbarian Mastery. He got Spear Perks! Wait, is that good? He's going Hybrid. Is that good, though? I don't think so. Unless we do the spear shooting through an enemy one. When you're wielding a two-handed spear, attacks at one tile range gain 15% hit chance. Uh, when double gripping a one-handed spear, the range of thrust is increased by two tiles. When using this range, it does less damage and no bonus to Is there hit. a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. And if you're hitting through people, it's even less accuracy. No, Battle Grip's just for better for melee weapons. I don't like it when the spears go through enemies. It really does no damage. Yeah, I, I don't think it's right for a hybrid build. Uh, I was hoping for pole arms, chat. That was the main thing I was hoping for was scintillating. And I might just rescind it. It's not worth it. The scintillating didn't do very well. Yeah. Tennis Spear always comes with lunge? No, I don't think so. Because these ones don't. These ones got Strike, Jab, and Thrust. Luckily, Strike attacks at two distance. So maybe... Maybe I do go Spears. Maybe? Law well, says, so I'm going to Orc Female and Cakes Goblin Male. What does that make Ambi? Half-breed. It makes her half-breed, but when she grows up, it'll change her from the humanoid that she is into either an Orc, a Goblin, or something random. In the child upgrading events in Thea are kind of weird and very luck-based. So you never really know what you're getting, even if you've done really well. There's a few times you can make a guaranteed child into an adult in a certain way that you want them. But that's usually like just crafters and gatherers, so just a basic bro. But if you want a special bro, you got to get really lucky. So that's how Thea works for that. Uh, Nightrix, do I go spear and go reach? No, because it costs 30 fatigue. Nah, no, 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 I'm rescinding that. I'm sorry. I was hoping for, if I redo it, does it work? Is it the same every single time? 
We're doing it for science chat. Scintillating again, and it gives me spears again. Okay, so, no, not worth it. Not worth it. I mean, on a normal bro, spears are good. But not with Nykrix. No save scums? <laughs> That's funny. This isn't a save scum. This is science. There's a difference. And the science of scintillating is important. You gotta figure out what it looks like. Very important to figure out. Welcome to the Himalayas! Hmm... Snorkel? <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. I'm the Pharaoh. Thanks for the sub with Prime. Much reach for the support, man. Welcome to the stream and glad you're enjoying. Let's go back one more save, says Grim. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. We can't save scum for that one. I wish I could. I wish I could. That that was rough. Uh, let's get some fatigue up in this joint. Nice Nykrix. And sadly, without scintillating, what do we do? We just lean back into the throwing build. Uh, bags and belts is going to be important. Whites of their eyes is going to be important. Uh, Staff Master could get me the stun, right? That's important. Making sure people's stun is important. Um. Oh no, we already had Dread Nova. We didn't have the other one. Thought it sent. So, so it seemed a little different. Here from YouTube. Love the content. First live for me. Glad to hear it, man. Love to hear the people you join the YouTube videos. And uh, the live content's slightly different. We do a lot of uh, chat interaction. But I'm glad to hear you're enjoying it, man. And hope you enjoy your stay. And uh, Winye, thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you so much for your amazing generosity. Uh, congratulations to Beard Daddy TX, God Emperor Brett, Kun Ducolo, and Curian PL, and Saturated Content. Thanks, man. And, uh, hope you guys enjoy your subs. Now what are we doing? Uh, I think I just get... I'm gonna lean into stabs. I'm gonna spend some money, chat. As much as I love Nykrix with this weapon, I need to start leaning into staff build. Let's get staff spins now. Was I going mind over body? I was not. Was I going killing frenzy? No, I was not. There's nothing here. It gives me more fatigue. Clarity would work pretty good. No. No. No, the weakness is pretty good, though. Okay, let's go staff spins, and then we'll do that. That's fine. That's fine. Has the mods had many updates, lady? Itch to get back into it? Yeah, the mods have been updating a little bit. Uh, I have not been on the recent updates, sadly. Uh, Dre says, thanks for the tier 1 gifted to low sanity compared to the community. Much appreciated. And thank you for starting the hype train, man. Looking good. Uh, James Long put up the most recent update uh, 13 days ago. So I have not tried it out. That's the one that's not save compatible. And 12 days ago, Necro put out a patch just to make sure things sorted out the last hotfix. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, currently we're not on the latest build, which is unfortunate, but it's because of a save build, uh, the save compatibility. And the most latest build are fixing the black market a little bit and making caravans a bit harder to farm. So, if you see me farming caravans really well, that is because it hasn't been updated yet. And, in all honesty, that's how it works for the base legends. But, that's for our Kobold playthrough. This playthrough uses an older version of legends because... Cell Swords is not updated, and PTR is not updated to a very new version of Legends. It's using an older version. So, eh, it's just complicated, but it, it works. So, as long as it works, <laughs> I won't complain. Uh, can I get some more HP? HP is good. Let's get some dedication. Vengeance rebound. Um... I need to make sure Roki gets some defense. 15% of dedication will give him like 4 defense. Eh. Yeah, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. It's worth it. I like survival instincts. It gives you defense as well, but only really works if people miss you or hit you. Yeah. Wingate says, I thought I could send my message to gifted subs. Anyway, subs were for Winax Grim. Rip. Oh. Oh, you're doing the five 
gifted to the community. No, that's different. If you want to gift to a specific person, I think you have to click on their name or something. Yeah, you got to click on their name if you want to gift to a person specifically, Win Wingate. But I still do appreciate the gifts to the community, man. Ewillens needs a new shield. Yeah, he lost his, his heater shield. So I think Ewillens can pick up... Uh, go with the fortress. He doesn't have shield expert. No one has shield expert on my team. I mean, Kate just could take it. I need to get tanks. I really need tanks. He will hold on to that shield for a bit. And, uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, and he can probably hold on to this dagger. He will is technically a tank. So he's our only tank left. He's just not the best tank. So our best tank is dead. Okay. <sighs> With tears in our eyes, chat, we head back. Yeah, and get paid. I'm going to go swimming. I uh, hope you guys are ready for a dip in the pool. Let's go for Cronin. Where is it? There it is. We'll camp till morning. Heal ourselves up. And hopefully get some recruits. These bigger cities are usually pretty good, but uh, we'll see how it goes. There's the spin cake. Yes, that's right. The spin's important. Don't want to forget it. Thanks, man. Uh, that's random events. Well, yeah, maybe. Maybe something good? Maybe not. Rare coins better be worth it. They better be. Okay, happy days. That's nice. Make sure everyone's happy. This team does need happiness. Thank you, Cake. Pimps keep you safe in this world. They definitely do. Nothing wrong with the Silver playing with phone rules. No, no, no. You need a pimp. You totally need a pimp. Ah, you thought his pimp game was stronger. No, apparently not. If we had our monk, we could have converted the pimp to our team. Sadly, our monk is dead. Uh, and then a game of cards comes to an end when he willens punches seven the face. Well, he willens is a thief, and Sev is a gambler. And there's a few extra cards that slip out from the gambler's sleeves. So Sev was cheating. I mean, when you're living life on the edge with a bunch of cultists, cheating in a game of cards, probably not the worst thing that you've ever done. Probably not the worst thing. Y'all know I'm a gambler. Why would you play cards against me? Exactly, Sev. Exactly. They knew what they were getting into. Anyways, chat, thank you guys so much for the support for the hype train. Thank you for getting it to level three. Much appreciated. Enjoy your lovely emotes. And uh, I much appreciate the support. How else can you port the fancy hat and shield? Exactly. Sev is loaded. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Absolutely loaded. Oh, God, it's a necro. And he's level five, too. Is he the lowest level? Oh, wait. Sev? You are now in the lowest four. You're technically the lowest three in terms of levels. But if I hire new bros, you're going to be safe from sacrifice. We'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. You want your level up. <laughs> you know what? Out of the fun of it, Sev, you'll get your level ups. You will be your sacri- Here you go. Here you go. You've asked for it for so long. You at least deserve to enjoy your level ups whilst you're maybe going to die. So there you go. You're going dodge tank if you ever do survive. Plus threes and fives is not bad. Uh, what do you get? Do you get nine lives just in case? Dodge, shield expert. Oh, is one of the level up I missed? There you go. And let's get resilient, just so you don't die. So Sev's the the, the sacrifice that's not died yet. So it's fine. Sev now feels special. I'm glad we were able to make you feel special. With 53 defense, you're actually not that bad. But I'm not wasting a gamble to keep you on the team. Maybe, maybe I do. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways. Cake, did you spin again? Dang it. Okay, I got to do another spin for you. Random positive trait. Okie dokie, Cake. That is what you need. You need an Iron Jaw Bright Marshall. Let's save before I forget. 
just in case the positive trait pops out something that doesn't like the game. It's very rare for it to happen, but it could. Charming! Cake is very charming. Especially with the previous stream today. Definitely very charming. So happy to see that, my man. Keep the team happy. Happy team, happy life. Happy cult. And we camp till morning. And hopefully make some new friends. Looking forward to it. Okay, that's everyone healed. What does Kronenkoog have for us? Not very much. There's a widow? Nope. Fisherman? Mm, I like the iron lungs, but no. Thousand dollar fisherman? Are you kidding me? What a waste. Cripple? Ooh, cripple with double defense. I'll have a look at him, chat. I'll let him have a chance. I'll let him cook. And then Ironmonger. Oh, triple attack Ironmonger. I'll look at him. I'll look at them both. Cripple with minus one and shield expert. And promise potential. Wait a minute. We're playing cell swords. We're playing PTR. Killer on the run can't be converted unless you give him brain damage. Or if he's dumb. I think killer on the run can be dumb. Yeah, they could be dumb. I'll, you know, I'll check the killer to see if he's dumb. If he's dumb, we take him. He is not dumb. He's useless. Okay, so much for that. And Militia, can they get dumb? Militia. Oh, Militia can get converted. I should be checking Militia. Why have I not been checking Militia? Because they're usually more expensive. Okay, they're useless. What is wrong with these Militia? Who taught them? Who taught them how to fight? Militia's lowborn, and I always forget it. They're the best in Occultist run, and I've just been trying to save money. God Cripple incoming actually could work. If the Cripple gets Promise Potential, this could be a God Cripple run. He needs a lot of work, but he could do it. He gets Rebound, and he gets Shield Expert. He's unfortunately nimble, though. But he does get Resilient and Colossus. Survival Instincts. He gets a lot of defensive perks. He doesn't get Underdog, though. Which is unfortunate. Phalanx, a dodge. He's not really a dodge build. Can Raiders get converted? Raiders need Dumb. Yeah, unfortunately, Raiders need Dumb. And they're very expensive. 43 bucks a day. I don't really want to buy more expensive bros. And this one is definitely not Dumb. I'll have a look at... Is there another raider here? There is. He's bright. That's the opposite. No, no, no. Not happening. Disown nobles. Nobles are harder to get. Uh, disown nobles. Yeah, they they need brain damage. Caravan hands need dumb. Eunuchs need dumb. Yeah, it's too much. Caravan hand. He's not dumb. Monks are impossible unless you brain damage them. Nomads need dumb, retired soldiers need dumb, squires and shield maidens need dumb, and cell swords and servants need dumb. So there's a lot of them that can use dumb, so you don't just need to brain damage everybody that you do for a cultist. But the good ones usually need them. Do we do the buy-ins? We maybe we could do a buy-in today. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the Ironmonger is pretty jacked. He's got good melee skill. Bad-ish defense, though. We'll have to fix that insecure. Is he a polearm build? No, not really. Do I have a use for him? Hammer. One-handed hammers. I don't have famed one-handed hammers. Whole flail would be really good, but he doesn't have flails. Bottom right perk is too stubborn to die. We had that on Nykrix when he used his scintillating. I think. No? Yes? Uh, it's just damage reduction and for every hit points you're missing. So if you get 50% health, you have like 35% damage reduction. It's kind of like last stand, but if you combine with his last stand, you probably just don't die. 
pretty strong. Add that to Nimble and you really won't die. So it's more of a tanky perk. I worry about his defenses. I'll keep the cripple for the fun of it. Don't know if I want to keep this dude. Butcher and Fishmonger always get cleave perks. The food can help to take that off and get berserk most of the time with the Vulture and Cap. That's true, that's true. Nimble Dodge Tank with this dude. Uh, Nimble Dodge Tank for the cripple. Yeah, and is there alert? There is no alert. That's sad. Ironmonger needs... He needs a better weapon choice. I don't like his weapon choices. I could make him a polearm, I guess, because I do have this polearm that nobody's using. I mean, Nykrix will eventually stop using this weapon. I could keep the blacksmith. Crozen's a melee bro, eventually. Moha's in the back. Regime's in the back. Nykrix is in the back. Roki's on the front. So actually getting a polearm user is not bad here. I could give him a smithing hammer. Oh, I could give him a reach hammer. Yeah, but only if I get a famed reach hammer. I'd rather use this. This is better. You know what? I'll keep him, chat. I'll keep him. He deserves it. Uh, Dev tools is turned off. Good. Let's save. Two new bros means Sev is off the table in terms of sacrifices. So Sev, thank you, lucky stars. You got levels. Should be happy for it. Uh, also, Nykrix, do we go... I need to buy you a staff. Need to buy you a staff. Okay, so brand new cult, uh, Cripple. Cripple, could you kindly tell me who you are? Who is your real name? Who do you work for? Uh, save that, that's good. Put the names up, that's good. There is a new name that just got added, Cake. I got Bunny just there, good. Perfect, okay. For this guy, everyone 19 talks about Davkul. Exactly, for Davkul Sev, yeah, because it's totally somebody you know personally. <laughs> Asta M, welcome to the team, man. Happy to have you as our cripple. Let's hope you get all the lucky rolls. God, cripple, question mark. Because there's a chance, but maybe not. You never know. And next up, we have our polearm user, which is Mr. Ironmong over here. It is Sauron. Welcome to the team, man. I don't think we've had you yet. Uh, is there pull a spin arm. that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a Necro. Nicely done. Okay. There's another spin coming up, which will be interesting as well. So we shall see what that entails. God, Cripple, let's give him some sort of defenses. Let's give him the Tower Shield. Let's give him... Give him the Butcher Cleaver, just so we don't, like, lose these items. I'm just going to equip him with it. Yeah, let's do that for the moment. Uh, Polearm user, let's give him... Ooh, I do love the old helmet. 5 for 150, 6 for 178. We'll give the old helmet to Ewillens, because he's good. And that should be fine. They're in the combat? Yeah, I don't want them to be in the combat. <laughs> so I'm going to bench them for the moment. Just... Uh, actually, maybe I shouldn't. You guys stay in combat. You guys hide in the back ranks. And hold on to, like, nets and stuff. A minus five fatigue. Yeah, you're never moving, Mr. God Cripple. As long as you never die, don't move. Oh, but that means we can't retreat with him. Mm, I should have considered that. Let's give him a lighter set of armor so he can retreat if he has to. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Did I see Malice with the devs made it? Yeah, they're doing it next year. Malice is a... Uh, Menace, sorry, is the devs' new game for Battle Brothers. It's futuristic, but they're making it next year, 2024. So it should be out by then, hopefully. Hopefully. We're looking forward to it. 
Uh, Sauron, you're a bit fat and heavy over here. Let's get you a little bit lighter. That would be nice. Good. And get you the polearm of your dreams, which is not available because it's currently on Nykrix's hand. So you hold the banner. That'll work. And give you a shield as an emergency and a net to support. Yep, I'm okay with that. That's not too bad. Uh, Ewillens, let's give you the nice sash. You've taken up the banner of sashing. And you have his old helmet. It lives on, chat. The helmet lives on. Uh, I need that tier 5. Thank you very much. I don't have many tier 5s, do I? No, not really. I've got the heavy tier 5s, just not the light ones. Alright, we'll see how that goes. Anyways, we save, we spin, because Elo has a spin. And we'll see what happens. Fashion Armin's game's great. Aw, oh, it does such a good job. The fact that we can layer it is so good. Like, the base game still has okay armors. Is that a yellow? Elo, that's a yellow. Congratulations. Uh, and I accidentally let go of the thing, so I need to put it back where it came from. Big congratulations, man. What would you like to see for the party? First spin. What a good spin. Now, we have a ton of weapons on this team. And we have a ton of shields. I'm thinking helmet or armor is not a bad choice. Not too bad of a choice. Keeping bros alive is always helpful. But I think DPS-wise, the team's doing pretty okay for the moment. I mean, then again, getting weapons is not bad, because Nykrix could use a staff, a throwing weapon. We could get a bow for Regime. Get a hammer for Crozen. So, I mean, just whatever you want, man. Whatever you want. You want maybe an armor for Moha. Ooh. Interesting. Definitely options here. Moha doesn't really need an armor too much, but we could give it to him, because it makes him fancier. A gun for, oh wait, to start face. <laughs> Don't make me remember. I feel bad enough as it is. Okay, let's go for armors then. Ooh, 145 kind of sucks. That's good. That is beautiful. Okay, not a bad choice, Elo. 10% the max you can ever roll on a piece. You max roll a 10% armor, and it's a tier 4. Nice. It's a beautiful cape, and Moha looks adorable with it. 3 for 45 means it's a little bit heavy, but it's okay. It's worth it. Moha, what happened to your famed helmet? What famed helmet? No crashes. No, 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 no crashes. Your famed helmet's fine. Did you have a famed helmet? I don't think you did. Is that in the other run? I mean, we had the famed helmet for um, this one. Oh, no, I gave it away, didn't I? The Handsmaiden's helmet layer? I gave it to the tank. And then no one else has a famed helmet, I don't think, anymore. So that might have been the one you're talking about. Hey, 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 the tank needed it, and he died with it. You had the black one previously? Yeah, you did, but then I gave it to the tank, and then he died with it. So we don't talk about that. <laughs> There's a fashion show in the chat. Yeah, we do have fashion shows. It looks great. You get to see all the cool fashion in the Battle Brothers Legends chat and our Discord chat as well. Nice, fancy, famed items. Always looks good. Anyways, um, we have some bar boots that I could probably organize onto this team. Yes, yes, we do. I am very happy to announce we have more bar boots. And Barlow, could we upgrade your helmet slightly? Because technically, 8 for 110 is bad. Not going to sugarcoat it. 8 for 110 is bad. So do I give you the 3 for 60? No, that's bad. I give you the Barboot 3 for 75. Do I have a tier 2 sitting around here? I mean, I have the Orc one for Barlow, but he already is wearing an Orc, uh, the Cultist one. 10 for 145. Okay, so Barlow gets the 10 for 145. That's a good one. Sing has 90 for 5. Yeah, let's go for the 3 for 75. 
Still can't fix that encumbrance. Ah, because I'm using a stinking ancient breastplate for 18 for 105. That's bad. Do I have a better alternative? The answer is maybe. And, and, and I don't know the real answer. Is it 25 for 170? Oh, that's even worse. Ugh, I don't have good armor pieces. I really don't. Let me sell a couple of things. Some garbage in this inventory that needs to be cleaned up. Uh, staff is kind of useless unless I have a famed one so I can sell it. Probably don't need the football helmets. 5 for 90 is not bad. 6 for 90 is bad. Uh, orc helmet's kind of bad. I love that tier 3 because it looks cool. Orc helmet's bad. 3 for 60 sucks. The stealth helmets look cool, but they're not that amazing. Anything that's orc or undead is usually not worth it. 12 for 100. I'm going to keep that as an emergency item. And I'm going to keep the barbarian thing as an emergency item as well, just in case. Got some nice leftover weapons, though, so I'm not going to complain about those. But for the most part, that's probably the best I can do. Okay, that cleans up the inventory. And we need to fix this, chat. Commands only work when first in sentence? Yes, they seem to do that. Just a way that it likes to recognize it, sadly. Uh, okay. Helmets, 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 armor. Sing, how's the armor? We have a... Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go for the 12 for 100, because that's better than 18 for 105. And that solves your fatigue problem. Good, and it kind of cleans up your armor. Sinsapelli, what are we looking at? We are nimble, and you're 13 for 141, and 6... 130. I could use a barboot for you as well. I just don't have any. We'll go for the 5 for 90 just in case, because that makes a slight difference. Frozen. 5 for 90, a little bit better. Uh, I've got a really cool helmet piece I want to give away, and actually I think it's Sinsipelli gets to deserve this. He gets the mutton chops, also known as Lindworm mutton chops. Perfect. Still paying RPs in the inventory, someone might need it. Maybe the tank. Yeah, that is true. The far for one, four for 83. Ani Willens, that is actually an upgrade, so. There we go. 190 for 178, and his hit point reduction is. Nah, it's mediocre. So, not bad. Does Barlow have encumbrance into the helmet? Barlow does still have encumbrance. Which sucks. But, I think I can fix it. Yeah, if I give Barlow a, a weaker helmet miss? base... I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a Necro. No, not that one. How would I go down to a 2 for 45? There we go, 2 for 45 fixes it, and he's got 215 over 233. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Uh, everyone else is okay except for Nykrix, which is a minus one. Yeah, Nykrix is a little bit heavy over here. That's because he's using the famed armor piece. But also the tier one. Yeah, let's fix that. Regime could do a little better. Let's go with that. Regime could use a helmet. Currently does not have a good helmet. That's better. Covers his eyes, almost. But it gives him at least slightly more protection. It's not a good base. I don't like the reinforced rotten males very much. A little bit too rotten for me. Tier 2 upgrade for crows in a little bit. I still have this piece I could give away to somebody. Uh, I guess Kadas could use it. It's not the best choice, but it does keep him safer. He does have a risky time on the front lines. And I don't like 12 for 85. I hate that armor piece. 60 for 8 not too bad, though. 
I think that's all I'm happy with. Maybe this padded vest could go to somebody new. Like Sinisapelli? Yeah, that's better for him. Slightly more nimble, slightly more dodge. And from a 50 to a 45, that's not a bad jump down. Is Sev fighting because we bite the bullet, let him fight? We could actually put Sev into the fight. He's got 53 defense. Sev, you know what? It's frontline duty for you. Oh, wait, I need to bench somebody. Sorry, Sev, one second. Um... Uh, I guess I bench... I can bench the god cripple so he stays safe. There we go, Astat. You'll be safe sitting in the back lines. Sev, you're promoted! You also have a good shield. Yes, you do. You have the 20 for 72. That's a really good shield. Sev is promoted. We give him the Spear of Justice. And, uh... <laughs> Let's give him some armor. That, plus the Snipe for 75, isn't amazing, but he'll get to enjoy 185. His dodge is mediocre. And his armor will be 5 for 60, plus that. Plus... Do I give him the... 12, 12 for 75, that's so bad. 18 for 120 is also really bad. I'll give him the Reinforced Mail, and then a Tier 2 that's kind of basic. That's the best I can do. Yeah, I'm okay with that. So 165, 185, and Sev's on the front line tanking with his dagger. I could, give, I could make him use the dagger, but that doesn't give him accuracy. You know what, Sev? You haven't died yet. You haven't ditched us yet. You haven't been sacrificed yet. Make yourself useful. You got this. Totally believe in you. Chat, I don't believe in him, but don't tell him that. Anyways, uh, I got to go spin to do, and let's get us out of here. Oh, hey, sweetie. Welcome to the stream. Everyone say hi to Snow Wife. It's good to see it. Uh, let's see. We have a spin for Mr. Dre's. This good stuff. Good stuff. No problem if it's sadly within 30% initiative. Yeah, it would be nice. Oh, it's a heal! Yes! We've been wanting it for so long. Regime! The brain damage! It's gone! Oh, the Dino Dance? Yeah, it's a popular emote. It's a very cool emote, for sure. Regime is fixed of his issues, and he no longer has bad health, chat. See, when you join the cult, chat, you no longer have to suffer the way that normal bros have to suffer. This is why we accept you all into the cult. To cleanse you of all of those worldly issues. You'll be clean once again, and ignore the, all the deaths. The deaths don't count. You'll just be fine. Just ignore all the deaths. <laughs> the dead bodies are not included in the cult, totally. Regime getting a little chunky, yes, for sure. A little bit of repairs before we continue. And we're going to jump from town to town, unless these quests are okay. Yeah. Watching Citadel Thunder jump on before bed. Oh, nice. My wife's got a ton of TV shows she's got to catch up on, so... Lots of watching on the TV. <laughs> Everyone but Regent needs the brain damage. Exactly! More people, for sure. Cargo, go away. I don't want you. Quadim. I don't know if I want to do that. Explore the ruins and get a famed armor as a bonus. Oh, I know this quest! This is the cool Swords quest! You guys aren't going to let me miss this one, are you? I don't know if we're strong enough. We just lost our tank. Hey, Dark Rage. Welcome to the stream, man. Late the party. Hope you didn't miss much. We lost our tank. That's the biggest miss, unfortunately. Party wipe incoming. I don't want to do this quest. Like, this is a good quest. But do we win this quest? Now, I do remember, chat, that there is maybe a random event on these quests where you get a party to help you. Like, there's a couple of dudes that show up as treasure hunters, and they help you out with the quest. So I'm going to save before I do it. Because we did have help, and also it might not have worked. There was some quest that didn't work last time we played, so we have to remember that Cell Swords is a buggy, very buggy mod. 
No, 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 it's not that buggy. Oh, it didn't, it worked this time. Thanks, Krikio. I appreciate the try for the bug. It's actually on the map for the first time. But I think the other time we did it, that it did work, we had friends helping us. It's far away. Is it worth it? I hope that's worth it. Thea 2's next stream next week? Yeah, so Thea 2 is the Saturday mornings now at the moment, because that's the game we're playing. So we have to wait for next week for the next playthrough of that. Unfortunately. Such a good game, though. Uh, okay, so what do I do, chat? I think I go straight for the fight. There's not much I can do to improve the team. Uh, I, yeah, okay. That, this, is, this is a scary quest. Let's go back to, is it Luton Dock? It's Holsenhoven, that's right. However you pronounce that. Holnishoven. And then up to Lazenfest would be fine. Lazenfest. Because I want to make sure we get to say hi to the big city before we head out. The second hug, Jaggler had to Sev. <laughs> we could go and give it to Sev. That would be funny. Uh, any recruits on the way? Ooh, Baker. No. I'm here for tanks. Stop showing me good melee bros. Stop dangling them in front of me, game. I want tanks. Is he good, though? No, no he's good. He's got swords, cleavers, and hammers. He doesn't really... He has six melee defense, but he doesn't have gifted... Uh, I don't know. Looking forward to Ahsoka, Master Stars fan, waiting for me and Snowman to finish Rebels. Yeah, we're trying to finish Rebels. We've got so many things to catch up with. But my wife watches a lot of, like, Netflix and Prime and stuff, so she's got decent uh, understanding of all those sort of series that she keeps up with. Wingate's watching Lockwood and Co. on Netflix. Nice. Nice. Uh, he's got fencer capabilities. He's fast. Yes, he's all right. Nice Monk says I watched a few episodes of OG Dragon Ball a few days ago. Nice. OG Dragon Ball's good. Shadow and Bone is great. My wife likes Shadow and Bone. I found it boring. But that's just me. <laughs> Offensive best defense is king. Yeah, that is true. I get medium armor with this build. Do I go fencing? The fencing of swords, I could... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, but it's not... It's not, um... Spears. I can't use my favorite spear, because this is a full-on spear weapon. It's not a sword. And this is not a sword either. Dang it. Is he worth it? What are the talents with the tool icons? Oh, these are from being like a blacksmith or a repairer. Uh, you get more tool storage, reduces tool usage, increases fatigue by plus three maximum. Uh, and then spare parts is reduces tool usage, maximum tool storage, and increases fatigue maximum by plus six. That's not too bad. Snow Wife's gonna sacrifice me to Davkul for that. Oh, did I say... I said something bad about Shadow and Bone. <laughs> yeah, I did. I know. I, I was falling asleep in the Shadow and Bone when I had to watch it with her. Uh, yikes. It was just so cliche. Oh, God, it's a but, but she enjoyed it, so that's the point. She enjoyed her series. Um, okay, what am I missing? She said she enjoyed the books. Yeah, she said the books were better than the, the TV series, I think, with the Shadow and Bone series. <sighs> Maybe I keep him as a backup. He's not bad. Six base defense is okay. He's got extra Colossus muscularity. He's got rebound if he needs it. It works, it's just not really what I want. I'll keep him, chat. I'll keep him. It's just I need more tanks. I have space in the party for how many more people? Three. So I can I can afford to get a few extra DPS bros whilst I'm waiting on tanks. The bald fits his haircut. Yeah, you like him already? Oh fine. He's he's a part of the crew, part of the ship, chat. Grim says he looks just like him. <laughs> 
It could be Grim 2.0. You never know. All that matters is how we spin here. Make him into your Black Sith Repair, bro. I could do that as well. It is Laser Catalan. It is not Grim 3.0, sadly. But Catalan, welcome to the team, man. Uh, this will be our Fencer question mark. Because he kind of has everything we need. Sev's a tank. Yeah, he technically has always been a tank. But we never had him on the front line because he was meant to die. Because I could never really convert him. Because I wasn't wasting brain damage on him. But now, maybe I do. Maybe I do. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Do I need a Taylor Seamstress at one point? Oh, if I want to do some crafting at the end game, yeah. But I don't usually do the Taylor Seamstress crafting stuff. I could, but I don't usually do it. Okay, we save, we continue, we get a spin, and we see what happens. Uh, Mr. Cake, thank you for the spin. Gotta make sure your fencing build gets stronger. Oh, Streamlabs. Hello? Well, Streamlabs is dying. Uh, is that on the bingo today? It better be. Stinking Streamlabs. Streamlabs, wake up! Okay, it's spinning here. There we go, there we go. It's not stuffing up dev tools, it's just Streamlabs being a pain in the ass. I have to sleep with one eye open as my wife threatening me with the... <laughs> yeah, with the making fun of Shadow and Bone. Yeah, I know, I know. I'll be careful, Wingate. Almost skating on thin ice there. That's random events, okay. Uh, that could be good. Cycles us closer to random more cultist events. There's no more cultist events, I don't think. Oh, wait, conversion might be reset. Or... Or... The God Cripple decides to ask Cake how he lives his life as a sellsword. And gets permanent stats. That's pretty good. Streamlabs gives up the ghost. The oh yeah, it's up here. It is. Snowcorn? Nice. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. Shardar, thanks for the tier one resub for five months, man. Welcome back to the stream, and I hope you're enjoying, and thank you for the support. Okay, so the god cripple is working hard, Asta. Uh, the dangling man is here. Chat. We have the melon mugger. Will we complete the trifecta? Save him, or does he die? We have the trifecta. We can't let them die. He is tiny, and he kind of sucks. Actually, no, wait. Tiny could work, because that means he's at... When I get rid of uh, Cocky, he's up to 9 defense. No shield expert, but he's kind of okay. 49 gets him to 79. He doesn't get any good weapon choices. Rapid March grants nearby allies rapid march. He could be like a support bro. I mean, I'll keep him just for the fun of it, but I don't know what to do with him. He doesn't really have the best kit. Ah, uh, he doesn't have fast adaptation, which makes me sad. He does get hybridization for an extra three melee skill. I could maybe give him dagger build? I have a famed dagger. I don't know. We'll have to play around with it. Weird stuff. But we're happy to have him on the team. Uh, whatever happens to him, he might get sacrificed. You never know. The Philly Fiddler could just get sacrificed. Uh, but yeah, Dead Horses, not really my shtick. Interesting that it's his shtick, but you know, everyone does have their own things. Uh, and we will get him on the team. So thank you for that. I think I still think there's one more event to do, though. Yeah, I think there's still one more event. Abert, are you on the team? No, I think we had you on one of our previous teams. Yeah, yeah, you're not on this one. So, welcome back. Uh, we will not question your certain tastes in horses, but uh, hopefully you don't get sacrificed, but we'll see how it works. 
We will see what happens. And it is time for the final event. Oh. Cake gets sad. The old man has operated far too long in the business of killing. Oh, does that mean he gets old? Oh, he didn't get old yet. Oh, goodness me. That's good. Cake, stay young. Please stay young, my good man. Don't lose anything. Keep it all. Stay young and bitter. And strong. We need you. You. Okay, 24 enemies. Not too bad. Maybe we find some of those soon. Drop into 10 and Wheeler. See the if they have another order recruit. Abates. The things are driven back for a time. Well, hopefully that time is longer than expected. Let me get a poacher. Oh, uh, I won't say no to an extra ranged bro. What does the spreadsheet say? It says poachers. Easy conversion. I'll take him. 800 bucks. Give me the triple ranged poacher. 47 is a little low though. But I can work with it. I can make him a anything at this stage, because 87 and 97. No wind reader, are you kidding me? But at least there's ballistics. Poacher's arm if I get a famed goblin bow. Oh, lots of opportunity for this guy. I'm happy to get an extra range, bro. I'm running low on range damage. Uh even though Drazus is technically a throw build. And Regime is a bow build, and Moha is technically a flail build, and who's technically a hybrid? Oh yeah, Nykrix is technically a hybrid, but it wouldn't hurt to get one more ranged person. No room for a tank? No, no, we've got one space. One more spot for a tank. And I'm very desperate to still have a tank, chat. Very desperate. You're not worth it. And woodcutters are too expensive. Uh, they're called lumberjacks, not woodcutters. But they can get converted. But he's useless. And then blacksmiths are a waste of my time. Okay. So we're finding everything that I don't want. But it's still fine. I'm, I'm okay with this team. So we have a brand new poacher. Let's add him in. Uh, any new names to add to the list? Yep, just a couple. Do... Did I do that right? Yes. It's Last of Living Undeads. Welcome to the team, man. Happy to have another ranged bro amongst us. Let's hope the dev tool is turned off. Good stuff. Now, unfortunately, your name does not fit. <laughs> so Last of the Living is good enough. And we have ourselves a range something. It'll work. Many opportunities. It's always good when a bro has opportunities. But it never hurts. As long as they have a build, that's all I worry about. If they have no build, then you're kind of worried. So, yeah. Interesting stuff. Hello, Goblin Raiders. You have an Overseer. I don't care. You can kill the caravan. I, it, it, you're not really going to give me any good loot. Not too worried about that. Dusk, good. We caught this before it closed. Is there before a spin closing hour, chat. I missed a spin. Oh god, it's a necro. Gotta hate those people who walk into retail places three seconds before closing time and want to go and shop or order a pizza. That is us currently right now. We are the horrible shopping customers looking for the perfect tank. And they're all horrible. Uh, the miner with plus one is not too bad. That's a bad miner. Stop! Stop dangling good bros in front of me! I want tanks! A triple melee skilled militia with heightened states of motivation, bravery, and dedication. Oh, that's good. No, you're useless. Watch. So, wife, do you get me to build bookcases? Yeah, um, yeah, my wife's got good stories about that, but yes, I I just build the Ikea ones or the Kmart ones. 
My wife's built... How many of you built deer? You've built two built cases on your own, and you built them very wonky. So it's... If she wants a good one, she gets it m me to do it, but she builds the, the ones from, like, Kmart and stuff and doesn't build them perfectly. <laughs> they get a little bit wonky. <laughs> you built three already, dear? Oh my goodness. I thought you were only up to two. Nicely done. Wonky means they have character. Yeah, they've got a story. That's the trick. The bookcases have a story. Uh, they're crying out for help, but they've still got a story, chat. Training equipment. Training equipment for 12k! Okay, okay, chat, we buy it. That cuts into our money. But I'm not complaining, because we now have training equipment. That's actually big. Also, why is everything so expensive? Why is cured venison 600 bucks? Cell swords, what are you doing to us? What are you doing? Uh, swan hat, that'll be nice. Training montage later, for sure. I am on board with the training montage. Uh, Sinisipelli, please enjoy... Mm, that doesn't fit. You gotta go green since you've got your nice horn decorations, so I'll give this to someone else. Do I give it to Crozen? Wait, if Crozen switches this out for this... That actually good, looks good for Sinisipelli, because the brown and the green kind of match. The blue doesn't, though, so if I could switch the blue for a different color. This works. Oh, but it's the wrong one. Wait, who else has the... I know I had a second... There it is, the bassinet. It was Crozen at the green bassinet. So green bassinet on Sinsipelli works better. Nice fashion. It looks good. Okay, uh, I think we're ready to go. I'm a bit worried. Is there a spin I missed by Sev? Yes, there is. So I will do that in a second. So we save. Yes, save is important. There we go. We have a massive off-shop book sale two times a year in a convention center, and the books are ridiculously cheap. Yeah, my wife takes me along to those book conventions, and there's so many books there. Hey, I've bought a few books myself. I don't read too often, but there are some good books that I've read in the past, and I've wanted to just keep the collection of them. Uh, that's stats! Sev! Sev, are you- are you gonna do it? Sev? Are you actually gonna buff yourself for the fight? Are you actually trying to become a bro? Are you changing my opinion of you? Are you buffing yourself to try and be a powerhouse in this cult? Okay, Sev, here we go. Here goes nothing. Sev is going to try and join the cult as being a sacrifice turned cultist. 48 defense, he's up to 51, plus everything else. 69 health. It's got to mean a good sign. It's got to be a good sign, Sev. You know what? You're converting me. And my wife says she's reading my books. Yeah, that's right. I get some good book series and I don't read them and my wife reads them for me. <laughs> I mean, if I've read a book series once, I don't need to read it a second time. But, you know what, eventually I'll go back and maybe read it a second time. Maybe. I still have a couple of incomplete book series that I need to finish up. Uh, not in, not in terms of reading, in terms of collecting. Because I've got, I just, I can't do a book series and not have all the books. Because I don't want to, like, miss a book and be like, Oh, I'm waiting for an, a, the final book to be finished read, and it's like I don't have it on me. Maybe go to the library or something, yeah. Here's the plan. Make me a birthday Christmas. Buy him books for present for only to read him. Hey, 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 she's done that before. She's, I'm sure she's done that before. Don't give her other ideas, Wingate. She's definitely, I think in one of our present situations, it was a little while ago, she bought me a present. And then I went, oh, I'm not going to really use that. And she's like, oh, how horrible. And then used my present. When we were dating? Oh, you did it when we were dating. I thought it was in the early parts of our marriage. No, no, no. You definitely did buy a present for me that you used. And I was like, no, I don't really need that. <laughs> Thanks, dear. Great, great times for sure. Uh, Moha says we might go to a brain damage conversion to get the good tank. Yeah, we might keep Sev. We might have to keep him for that. Also, chat, I didn't realize we're fighting quick draw. That is not good. Can I lure these guys in? Wait, wait, is this spiders? Yes, Nox. Oh, it's Nox. Uh-oh. Chat, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. No one's gonna stop me. Come here. Come here. Come on. Hungry boys. Come on. Come on. 
Come here. Prediction for this fight, 100% shot. 100%. In we go! It is a three-way fight. No crashes, Krikyo. I don't want to crash in this fight. And it's a big prediction fight. Let's go. No, it's a bad spawn. Oh, okay. Oh, fire arrows immediately. Oh, that's the bounty hunter. I forgot we get help. It's a four-way fight. Oh, our bounty hunter's dying. At least he's tanking instead of us. I remembered. These ones chat. Whenever you do the famed item location, you get bounty hunters to help you. It's weird, but I love it. Only problem is, there's 64 enemies. Enjoy your predictions, chat. And I'm going to enjoy trying not to die. In Cell Swords. Oh god, I just remembered it's Cell Swords. Does that mean... No, it probably doesn't. Okay, I'm not too panicking, but I'm still panicking. Because Necro's mod gives all of the Nox frenzy. Cell Swords doesn't. What does Cell Swords give Nox? Do allies count as deaths? No, 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 no. Allies never count as deaths if you're doing the prediction. It's always our bros. And they have to be literally dead for it to count. If they get struck down, they're not actually dead. That's just a struck down. So you guys are predicting, as usual, for how many legitimate deaths happen on our team. Cell Swords gives them unstoppable. Oh, so they don't get pushed back. That's kind of annoying. Unstoppable is still very painful. But yeah, I don't think it gives them Frenzy. Which is good, because Frenzy is a pain in the ass. If I can capitalize on this high ground, I might be able to win. This low ground is not going to help me. Veterans. Ugh. My bounty hunters will be useful, but maybe not as much as I'm hoping they'll be, because we're fighting uphill. And that dude has a whip. Come on, man. Why do you bring a whip to a bounty fight? Same thing with this dude. I also don't want this guy to die, because he has a net. So he should probably throw his net before he dies. Unstoppable only gives melee to skill and damage. No, no, no. Unstoppable is different in Cell Swords. Uh, where is it? Immovable object. Oh, that's different. No, unstoppable is this one. Sorry. No, no. I was getting immovable object and unstoppable confused. Unstoppable is melee skill, melee damage, and you get more stacks every time you kill and attack people. Uh, immovable object's the one where the more defense stacks you get, the more fatigue modifier you get to get immune to stuns and stuff. Yeah, right. And then Battle Rhapsody is the one with daggers that gives you more action points. Battle Rhapsody is the one with... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There's Perfect Focus. Nice. There it is. Battle Rhapsody is melee skill and initiative. Yeah, and action points. Yes. Yes, that's correct. It doesn't give you defenses. This is a pure attacking based one. But it doesn't increase your damage either. So Unstoppable is about damage. Whereas uh, Rhapsody is about going faster in combat and attacking more Welcome often. Which kind of equates to damage. Kind of. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. Yeah, no, no, GB, you were right. I didn't try to confuse you. I was confusing myself. Yeehaw, thanks for the resub with Prime for seven months, man. Much appreciated for the ongoing support. Glad you're enjoying. You not start getting crunchy, crunchy M&Ms? Wait, what are we talking about crunchy M&Ms for? Crunchy M&Ms are not as good as peanut M&Ms. Peanut M&Ms are better. Uh, actually, you know what, chat? I just had a change of heart. I'm going to be retreating to the corner of the map. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Yeah. Oh, God, it's a necro. They're at the top and the bottom? Oh, no. Oh, there's just a few at the bottom. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, thanks for the spin. Yeah, you guys can spin. That, that's a thing. Oh, dear. That is... That's a lot. Lucky there's some babies out here. Uh, but... I, I, I'm retreating. I'm going to the corner of the map. Corner of the map's my friend. Yeehaw, please bring a distraction, but nothing too dangerous, okay? Something on the mediocre side. Like, no bosses. You can't get a green skin boss, thank God. If somebody invents a green skin boss for Legends, I swear to God. Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Into the south flank he goes, because there's no places to put the green skin. He's, he's got to go down here. 
It's an orc young. Yay! Thank you. That's not too bad. I'll take it. He's a good distraction. Uh, other than the distraction chat, we run. We go bye-bye. What's happening here, Sigmatico? Nothing, nothing. Move along. Move along, soldier. Nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. We have everything under control. That's what I tell myself at night, and that's what makes me sleep at night. Whether or not that is the case, that is not something to worry about. <laughs> yes. Oh, the pig is here. Hello. And so is Black Crow. What is his name? Balthasar? That's a cool name. Balthasar is a very cool name. And Black Crow is a great title. Uh, and now we run. Sounds like you picked the third option, says Grim. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit on the third option. But I won't admit it. Not happening to me. Okay, south we go. Away. Away from everything. Stinking hedge knights, too. Uh, Draze this friend away. Sing over here. Yeah. I still didn't click 10 saving my 4k snowballs. Oh, no. How many did you vote, sweetie? <laughs> oh, dear. Voting too much. But hey, I might lose some bros. You never know. I'm going to try my best not to, but hopefully my distractive friends kill each other, and that makes my life easier. Oh, look, he's wasting throwing weapons. Yes, that's what we need. We need throwing weapons to be completely wasted. Don't save a single throwing weapon for me. Use it all on the Nox. If I retreat, that will be a lot of level 3 Nox. Eh, I think these guys will hold, hold their own, right? I don't think the Nox win. Wait, why do they have 20 stacks of Unstoppable? Wait, what? No, 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 no. Cell Swords, explain. At the start of combat, you've been with 20 stacks. What? Welcome to oh, but it goes to a maximum of 100. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry. It's lemon. Okay, I was worried for a second there. Because I remember Unstoppable used to be small numbers. So 20 makes it look really bad. 20 makes it look really bad because it used to be maximum of 20 stacks. So the different type of Unstoppable where it was like one point per stack, it was not, it didn't used to be 100. So now it goes up to 100. Okay, that's not too bad. I panicked for a second. So it starts at 20, can go up to 100. So every 10 stacks gives you 2.5% maximum damage and 2.5 melee skill. So at 100, it gives you 25% damage and 25 per 25 melee skill. So Unstoppable gets pretty disgusting. And every positive morale check gives you 5 stacks. Every first kill of each turn gives 20 stacks. Every negative morale check reduces the stacks by half. That's pretty scary. Crows, and thanks for the reset at Tier 1 for two months, man. Much appreciated for the recurring support. And glad you're enjoying. And I am going to be crapping my pants in this fight if I'm not careful. Let's, uh, let's move over here. Sauron, run away. Oh, yeah, you're in your first fight. Oh, dear. This is not a good first fight for Sauron. The net! Thank you, Bounty Hunter. You stopped the Swordmaster. And Balthazar. And a crossbow bolt. Okay, the bounty hunters are helping. And I like to see it. Mohan, no comment. You picked three plus kills. No confidence in snow. No comment, she says. <laughs> she has the utmost confidence in the in having no confidence in me. Very confident about it. Hey, I mean, every normal person would be very scared of this fight. Oh no, he will in sprained ankle. Uh-oh. Well, I can rotate my way out of dangerous situations. And he is the tank, so he's kind of okay. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no. Not the fire arrows to Barlow. Is that pierced leg muscles, really? Ah, oh, fudge. I don't like giving them the high ground. That's a famed bow, and I want it. Oh, dear. That's the only problem with me is for retreating to the corner. Um, is I give the enemy a lot of options to shoot me. 
I just hope they get overrun by the Nox. That's that's my goal. You guys get beaten up by Nox, and I get a happy day. So many foe. The famed foes look lame. Yeah, they kind of do. They're not the best famed items in the game in terms of looks. They just look basic. Sometimes they look so basic you just overlook it. It's like, oh, that's just a normal bow. No. A lot of knocks. Yeah, metal. This is not a good fight. But we brought this together so we can make our lives easier. And I hope I made the right decision. I don't know if I did. Oh, what the hell is that guy? I didn't even see what he was. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That guy looks cool. Bloody Arnie. Oh, Schwarzenegger's here. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Welcome to the team. Uh, there's, there's some fancy dudes on those lineups. He's got some decent armor. Oh, the monks are dying. Good. But you're right, there might be a lot of tier 3s if I'm not careful. Um, okay, you guys have fun. Good. Good, the whip's good for you. Javelins, waste your javelins. Triple javelins, good. That's an aggressive monk. Keep running to the edge of the map because I do not want to get shot. Austrian, welcome to the stream, man. You're late. Did someone die already? Not in this fight, but yes, we did have someone die, unfortunately. Sad times for sure. Okay, good spears. Good spears, Mr. Bounty Hunter. That monk is so dead. Barlow, yeah, it's the stupid pierced leg muscles. I hate that injury. How did you take that when you barely took any damage? Oh, it's a bad injury. Okay, let's keep moving back. Uh, Sev, do I wait? I'm going to wait with Sev, just because I might have to rotate E. Willens. Oh, no, he's not getting chased. So we go here, we rotate him this way, and that moves Sev up, but moves E. Willens down. That's probably okay. I'm okay with that. The enemies are kind of taking their time to get engaged with each other, which is okay. I am realizing I've made not really a mistake, not really a miscalculation, but I've made issues for myself, specifically in the area of if the Nox win, that's a lot of tier threes. So I kind of don't want the Nox to win. I kind of want them to rough up the Brigands as much as possible. But if the Nox win by a landslide, I've made a severe miscalculation. But I kind of trust the really good bros. And I trust the enemy to sort of split up. A lot of trust for the AI that I don't really trust normally. <laughs> can he spin the wheel only once during battle? No, the wheel can be spun every 10 minutes. It's coming off cooldown very soon. It does make things interesting. Okay. Uh, it is now time for Sev to ditch. Good. And now everyone's practically retreated. The only dude that's kind of chasing us now is the Bandit Veteran. But I can kind of just ditch him. And it'll be okay. South Flank's being a bit weird. Dog's dead, that's fine. Squire's not going to take much damage there. Nice. We have to remember that the Nox are very good at healing, and they can recover their health once they eat corpses. But the Brigands can't. a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a Necro. Yeah, that's a tier 3. A Necro in this fight would actually be pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I won't argue if a Necro joins this fight. What's joining in there, Swordsman? It's a free kill. Ooh, in a big fight like this? What on earth are you gonna choose to kill? It's not a yellow. A yellow would make this fight very interesting. A boss would make this fight interesting. Scary storm or something like that would be crazy. But a free kill is not what I expected. Killing a tier 3 would be probably the right play. But it's all up to you, man. You want to kill Quick Draw? Oh, if you kill Quick Draw, that means we guarantee his loot. Actually, yes, that's actually smart. That means no matter what happens, we will win this fight with a free bow. 
Black Swordsman says tier one knock. Oh, Black, come on, man. Oh, there's only one tier one knock. Okay, okay, that means you're gonna make me fight for my loot. You're not gonna give it to me on my silver platter. You're gonna make me fight for my loot. Tier one knock, dead. Thanks, Swordsman. See, I get no free passes, chat. No free passes for the snowman. Okay, I'll work for my lunch money. Get that, that bow all on my own. Thanks, Swordsman. Now I just have to hope a knock doesn't eat him. Because if a knock kills him, oh no. If a knock kills him, I don't get the bow. I'll feel bad about that. No, 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 Arnie, don't come this way. Arnie, go defend your bowman. Oh wow, the squire's doing well with the dagger. Oh, Balthazar's getting some kills. Snorri the Menace. They have like four leaders. They got like four leaders, two squires. Master archers, two hedge knights. They got so many good dudes. That does worry me. And that sword master's coming my way. Oh dear. But most of them are distracted, so that's kind of good. Just got here and it looks like a good fight, Roki. Oh, this is this is the fight of the stream for sure. You came at a good time. I don't think it'll get crazier than this today. And then again, it's Cell Swords, so this is probably just a general Tuesday for us. Cell Swords does this all the time. Okay, they're kind of moving towards me. Most importantly, I just need to go back a space. Ewillens in six turns. Good. So Ewillens will get out of there. That's what I need. You know, the run to end so Snow can go to bed. Yeah, if the run ends after this, I might be getting an early bed. <laughs> I don't think the end run's going to end. I think I've planned this fight good enough that we can capitalize off of the chaos, so to speak. Okay, I'll end the round and that's all I need to do. Get one of our bros back and we're fine. Amy, my wife thinks I have a skill issue? Possibly, possibly. And you want my wife to go to bed as well. <laughs> She's invested in the fight for the moment. It's only 8.30, it's not too late today. So, this fight will last a little bit. But I think it'll be finished definitely before the stream ends. It's been a long time since we had a two-hour fight on this stream. This one probably just maybe last an hour. Seeing how it goes. The Nox are getting tied up in the top flank. Very interesting. They like stumbling over their own bros. Because they get stuck with their formations. The numbers are dwindling. But the tier 3s are still growing. But there's a morale game happening in the middle. My bounty hunters are dying. Oh, quick draw. Quick draw, no. He's come closer. The south is kind of winning. Come on, Nox. Kill somebody, please. The Nox are losing. The Nox are kind of losing. We had a two-hour fight. What was the fight? It was a Cell Swords fight, and it was against Brigands. And chat just kept spawning in things. It was such a long fight. And chat spawned in so many things in the fight. And then we had to restart the fight because it crashed. So, it was horrible. It was a two-hour fight, and it got reset. Because it crashed. Because we spawned in something we couldn't spawn in normally, and the game just decided to give up the ghost. Because Cell Swords is buggy, but also when the dev tool spawns in, like, the wrong named enemy, I think it, it does have an issue. But yeah, it was horrible. The sniper from the top of the mountain says, Drake, this Grim says, don't tell him. Yeah, I know. That's the thing I'm hating. Quick draw is my kryptonite in this fight. I don't want him to snipe me. I want a knock to eat him. If a tier 3 Nox eat, gr eats Grim, then not Grim, eats Quick Draw, that's fine. If he eats Grim too, I'm not I'm not against that. Grim's already dead. <laughs> they can't hurt Grim more than they already hurt him. Uh, Swordmaster's turn's already done. Bandit Veteran, I'm ending this round. We go straight to round 5. Round 5 might be where I can start joining this fight. Also, I just gotta keep hydrated. Yeah, AI is infinite ammo. It sucks. 
Okay, the Squire's having a good day. Come on, tier three, stop, stop playing. Oh, they're a happy bunch. The Nox are getting wrecked. Well, I don't have to worry about the Nox winning, chat. Because they're definitely not winning this fight. Yeah, that's infinite 95s. The best part about this game is the AI can cheat as much as it wants, but they don't have infinite throwing weapons. So, a lot of throwing weapons have been used. He's almost out of throwing weapons. Good. He has a lot of confident dudes. And that's a confident quick draw. Mm -hmm. That's another thing I have to remember. Also, the Orc Young is sitting out of this fight, which is a good choice for him. Not gonna lie, he made a good choice. We still have some bounty hunters alive, chat. I'm actually kind of proud of them. Kind of proud. There's still a few left kicking. Not many, but a few. And these guys are getting stuck. Oh, come on, you stupid Nox. Just kill him! It's just a veteran! What are they- what are they doing? Oh my goodness, they're just dancing around him. These Nox are dumb. Oh, good tier 3, good job. I mean, the Nox would ever win a fight against the quest enemies? Yeah. They're pretty strong. Swordmaster goes back north? Why? Why? Why are they just... I'm so confused. The Nox... The, I, this AI is being stupid. If that's on the bingo today, it deserves it. AI cheats? Eh, it's not really cheating. The AI is just being stupid. Very stupid. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Okay, can you stop changing the elevation game? Would appreciate it. Okay, so tier three is dying. Orc is still sitting out. Bounty Hunter runs up like an idiot. Oh, dear. Bring the Nox might have been a bad idea. They're hurting my guys more than they're hurting the enemy. That's what I was thinking, Moha. I was thinking I might have made a mistake by bringing the Nox in here. I thought it'd be lots of fun, which is definitely what it is. But it's not making the biggest difference. Oh, well, hear, you, hear me out. The Nox killed the monks, which would have been really annoying. Monks are actually devastating in fights. And there are some bandits that have died. Not many, but some. But definitely the monks are dead. All my allies are almost dead too. Yeah, well, that's the other issue. I kind of abandoned my allies. But for kind of a good reason, because I didn't want to deal with quick draw and all that. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. 5%. May as well start doing something. Yeah, the praying monkeys for sure. I'll try and get regen with the sniping. I don't know if he can reach from this far, but I'll see what I can do. If I can get that Swordmaster on fire, maybe I can start... Oh god, the Hedge Knights. Does he have Unstoppable? Thank goodness he doesn't. Yeah, that's what Kate is there for the moment. Veterans coming our way. Only problem is the closer I get to quick draw, the closer he can shoot me. He gets a really good range on me, though. That's what I'm not super keen about. Or is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. Well, at least some more chaos is about to ensue. Thank you, chat. Free kill! Swordsman, Swordsman. Casey almost had it. Swordsman, what are you killing? There's no more tier 1s left on the battlefield. There is a fleeing tier 2 that is very low health. There's not much else. The tier 2 knock that's damaged, yeah. I thought you would. Kill Quick Draw. I know, killing Quick Draw would be so good. That could actually save this fight. But Swordsman wants to see chaos. And I, I can't fully blame him for it. So, tier 2's gone. And, uh, and, uh, the fight continues. Hooray! Okay. 
Can I have some enemies come after me? Just not quick draw. That's it. Just not quick draw. No, okay. Does Swordsman have a brother? <laughs> I don't think he does. I think he's waiting for these guys. Maybe he has a brother in this army that he just doesn't want to die. A bandit in another life, probably. No, quick draw! From downtown. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12! 12 tiles away. How does he even have that much vision? That's not physically possible. Did we just learn something new today? Does the AI cheat and have infinite vision? Does the AI have infinite vision? You don't get more vision from height. Well, the AI cheats for sure. You have a maximum vision in the game. Height doesn't... increase vision, right? Maybe it does. I don't know. I, I think that's 12 tiles is a bit ridiculous. The AI can always tell where you are. Yeah, I know that, Casey Jeans. I know. But we, they did actually change that a little bit. Legends crew in the newer updates of Legends did change that. So the AI doesn't cheat as much when you're hiding in bushes. So that's nice. Uh, but it doesn't, like, fix the problem completely. He's a champion for a reason. Yeah, apparently so. Apparently he knows what he's doing, and I don't like it. Luckily, Nykrix didn't take very much damage, because from that distance, he's got good armor. So I can't complain too much. But I can't say I'm super happy about it. Okay, I can't get a good shot off here. I gotta get Regime to do this. Come on, man. Shoot back. It's 49%. That's actually not too bad. 46 on the Swordmaster. Let's go. Damn it. Oh, is it the AI hacking or smarter than me? It's probably both. At this stage, it's probably both. It's just stinking enemies on freaking mountaintops. Bounty, you're doing well. Why are the tier 3s not eating anything? This is rigged. AI cheats for sure. The tier 3s haven't eaten a single enemy. And how is this one veteran stopping... 3, 6, 9, 12. There are 12 knocks being held up by a single veteran. Finally, they're walking forward. Orc Young is bugged and should be changed out. No, no, no. Orc Young's not bugged. Orc Young is not seeing anybody in combat at the moment. And he's staying safe. He's not active. If you walk close to him, he'll wake up. So that's what happens sometimes when you spawn enemies in. They just sleep. They sleep on the job. He hasn't had his morning coffee. He hasn't had his angry coffee yet to wake himself up. Oh, no. Bloody Arnie has a fencing sword? That's the weapon he has? I'm not looking forward to this. I'm going to say it right now. Getting peppered by quick draw. And a Master Archer on the high ground. Oh, that's a big hit. No, but that's on our Bounty Hunter. No! You stupid knock. Stop hitting our allies. Our allies did. Oh, we hit the Hedge Knight on a 23. Nice. Nice. I only have 10 bolts and no extra ammo. Yeah. It's not like Drace is going to hit anything. Oh my god, Cake, that's a quick shot to your face. Chat, I might retreat from this fight. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is bad. This is really bad. I might re-roll the map. But if I re-roll the map, you guys get the 3 plus win. So that's the only issue. No retreating. Yeah, well, I'm getting peppered from the high ground, which is really bad at this stage. And there's not much I can do about it. Regime, get closer. There's no good shots you can do. There's no retreat. I know, sweetie, there's no retreat. But I, I want to retreat. I don't want to do this fight. What's the bet in case of retreat? It's a three. So if I retreat, it counts as a loss for the fight for the bet. 
It counts like it is a complete loss. Retreating's fine, redoing the fight is not. But that's the same thing. Re re retreating and redoing the fight does the same thing. 5%. Grim says, please retreat, it's just a free win for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see all the three pluses in chat keen for a retreat. I see you guys keen. Like, I don't mind this fight if I wasn't peppered by two Master Archers. And nobody's coming after me. This AI is weird. Do I engage the band veteran? I think I just rush. I think I don't have a choice. I think I have to do this now. Oh, but Barlow has, like, no defense. 50 is still pretty good. Rush him. Rush him. I gotta rush something. I gotta start this fight. It's too late. It's round six. The pig just did amazing damage. Veteran's getting caught up. Nykrix is sitting on fire. Let's not do that and say we did. Uh, since Billy, you just finished your turn. The tier three's dying. The fact that the tier threes didn't eat anything, I'm very suspicious. Very suspicious. This AI knows how to cheat. Okay, Cake, you stay put. Uh, Kate is, I can move you one square forward. And that's fine. Is the Orc Young bugged? No, 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 he's not bugged. He's just hugging the edge of the map. It just looks like he's bugged, but he's not. Hey, quick draw hits something that's not me. Took your time there, buddy. And we have one bounty hunter still alive. That's actually useful. The other ones are dead. No, we have two bounty hunters that are still alive that are good. Hey, I'm okay with this. You want to see chaos? Yeah, the more chaos, the better. The tier threes are already full. Is that why they're not eating? Oh, maybe. We didn't know what they brought in. Did they bring their lunch from home? Or did they have to cook here on the job? They might have brought their lunch from home. Hey, there's a new tier three. That's good. Wait, maybe I'm starting to believe, chat. These dudes are distracting them. If we make a forward push now, maybe we win. Yeah, their back line's actually distracting them. Okay, we move forward. Uh, 36, 61, 55. 61's big. Okay, Regime, go forward. 63. Ah, oh, headshot would have been beautiful, but I'll still take a body shot. That's good. That's good. What the hell is this fight, Sokka? Well, that's what I asked myself when I started this fight. I haven't learned the answer yet. No! Okay, that didn't do too much damage. Thank you, Master Archer. Thank you, Quick Draw. Okay. Sev, in we go. Didn't work. That's fine. Uh, Sing, I need you over here. Orc Young woke up. Dang it! He finally woke up, chat. I thought he'd be asleep for the whole fight, but he's not asleep. He has woken. We have awoken the green skin. Uh, veteran, I want you to come closer. That dude's bleeding out slowly. Good. Drays this. Nothing to do here. Nothing to see here. Unfortunately. Okay. Okay. Just hit Barlow on a 47. Yeah. Fine by me. Fine by me. Veteran, let's put Croaky here. That's fine. We spin for help? I mean, there's been a few spins, but yeah. Came, left the shower, came back to the sand, he missed a free bet of one to two deaths. Yeah, it's missed? definitely I three deaths in this fight. Oh, God, it's a necro. Somehow free deaths. 5%. Well, gag ball, you maybe get a 5% eventually. Uh, Sokka, thanks for the spin. Oh, you went there. That's weird. Why didn't he just crash my front ranks? Weird veterans, chat. So-called veterans. Sokka? Oh, Streamlabs is being pissy at the moment. Come on, Streamlabs. Come on. Come on. We already had you on the, the wheel today. The Lovely. There we go. Green skin. Okay, we add a new friend to Mr. Orc Young over here in the south. And he might be a goblin, so I'll put him a little bit further away. Uh, probably... Behind the tree, just in case it's a goblin. No, it's a warrior. That's fine. 
So, he has a friend. A beast would have been better. Yeah, beasts are scarier. So I'm glad it's an orc. Orcs are manageable. Orcs are predictable. To a degree. So I don't mind the orcs too much. Uh, Kedas, you are actually afraid. Fuck. 29 resolve! Let's hope his mad helps. Let's hope his mad helps. That's bloody Arnie and he's gonna come after us. Um... Yeah, not looking forward to this. Your turn's done, your turn's done, your turn's done. You act in one turn. Coming down this way, that's fine. Sauron forward. Inspired. No, Arnie's inspiring people? And how is that veteran just 1v10ing those dudes? Don't like it. Barlow gets a good hit. This is going to be our first kill. Good stuff. Arnie and the pig working very well together. That's four attacks with the spear. Yep. Welcome to PTR and Soul Swords. Welcome to the fun house. Orc, you better stay on that high ground. Don't you move. Don't you even think about it. Ewillens, you have a sprained ankle. Still an issue. Can you, like, taunt a dude? That'd be nice. Is it 1v1v1 one one battle? It's a 1v1v1v1 one 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 battle, but technically the bounty hunters are on our side. Oh. Sauron, that did not need to happen. Oh, tier 3, eat the dude, please. Eat the stupid veteran. It's never gonna happen, though. It's technically a two-sided battle. The green skins are just adding to the fun. Oh, here comes Arnie's turn. Oh, he went back for the back line. Good. No, that didn't kill him. The Nox are fleeing. That's not a good sign. Mohawk gets a beautiful 72. That's what I like to see. Mm -hmm. No, just eat the squire, you stupid tier 3. I swear this game hates me. Uh, I need this 72, don't I? Because it's a free kill. I don't like that veteran, but this is a free kill regime. And then you hit him again because you have uh, Fresh and Furious. How did that not kill? It's because your bow's weak. I need a better bow. I need that quick draw bow. Okay. Chat, we need to win. We need that bow, and Regime can then become the powerhouse he deserves to be. It's just, will we get there? Squire with the dagger. Yep. No, Orc, go away. Go away, buddy. Wait, they're chasing the Nox, so I can keep chasing. I might be able to reclaim this high ground. If the AI is being stupid, I could reclaim this high ground. Oh, hi, warrior. Oh, hello. You walked up finally. Took your time there, bud. You wanted to die? That is perfectly fine. I can accommodate you. One, two, three, four... You don't have Pathfinder, do you, buddy? Nope, that means Draze. This should be fine if I move him here. 21%? No, not worth it. Unfortunate. Sauron, maybe get out of there. Hedge Knight ditches? Weird, but okay. 5% Gagball? You keep working on this. Get a 9%? You were close. Yeah, no, they really want to kill the fleeing Nox. This is actually really good for me. I can come back to the high ground. Barlow, good hit. Ah, the veteran's coming towards us. I'm happy about that. Hey, buddy, buddy, what you doing? I don't want to fight him from the low ground, but maybe I do... I think I can risk it, because Regime can get a good shot on a 60-some percent. Let's risk it. 
five percent. Okay. Well, maybe I shouldn't have risked it. Sing misses a ninety-five. Sing, are you kidding me? This dude is literally on death's door. Son of a biscuit. He willins can get him with the lightning. Thank goodness. Someone's got the kill. And Kata's... I don't want to sit here. That's a bad spot. Let's sit here. Roki, I can take... I'm worried about Roki. Roki's here? I'm worried about Quick Draw. He's pretty close to my team. I put Roki here for the moment. He waited on his turn to attack. You're a jerk, man. Roki, don't do it! Okay, he shot Barlow, but didn't injure him again. Not Roki, sorry, quick draw. Snow's panicking. But I might be able to chase Roki soon. Uh, quick draw. I keep, why, am I, why am I saying those names? I just say names after names. We got this, chat. We got this. Sev, uh, up you go. Over here. We gotta scare a quick draw and we gotta catch him. Before all these knocks flee, we have to take advantage of the situation. Uh, Orc Young acts in four turns, so Moha, would you kindly... One, two, three... Uh, if he walks up to me, I'm okay with that. Moha, you run up here, buddy. 41%. Sinsipelli, your lunge is not amazing, but your main attack is okay. I knew it! The lucky headshot, Moha. That's what I wanted to see. Crippled his windpipe. This dude's dead. Sinsipelli, love to see it there. Good stuff, man. And Moha moves up for the net throw, which is going to be very helpful. Master Archer moves forward. That's good. Chat, we're capitalizing. Uh, I don't care what you're throwing weapons. Screw that. Ignore the throwing weapons. Things feeling less chaotic. Need the spin soon with something like a yellow boss spawn or scary legendary. No, 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 Zenny. That's fine. The chaos is only going down because all the knocks are dying. There's nothing wrong with slightly reduced chaos. Slightly reduced chaos is okay. My bounty hunters are still not dead. There's three of them still alive. I'm actually really surprised three of them are still living. Uh, can I get a good shot? I cannot get a good shot. Regime? Regime. Regime, my good man. I need you right here. That might get you some good shots. Uh, D. Archibus, welcome to the stream, man. Thanks for the follow. Hope you are enjoying... Let's get Crozen over here. Mr. Whip Dude is doing weird stuff and tries to get a lucky kill. But he rolls a 5%, so not very lucky if you asked me. Sing, I think this is a good risk. Because we could get close to Quick Draw on the Master Archer next turn. It's a very good risk. Roki, this is the time to shine. 47. You had a chance, my man. Love to say you had a chance. Illo, how many dead? Nobody's died. We have some is risky situations. None of our our dudes are dead, which is what matters. There's a lot of dead bodies on the enemy team. We started with like 65 enemies. It's down to 29. Unfortunately, most of the ones that are left are the scary ones. Cadiz gets a beautiful 41. I'm very happy to see that. Chat, we're fighting our way back onto the high ground. That's what I like to see. Uh, endless and cake. I don't want to put you closer to quick draw. I really don't. No! Stupid veteran There's matched me. I missed. I missed a spin. Oh, God, it's Swordsman, a necro. Swordsman. Swordsman, we have an understanding. And Streamlabs and I do, do not have an understanding, apparently. Streamlabs, stop. Stop being so bad today. No, that's the little one that's not working. Streamlabs. <coughs> Excuse me. I hate Streamlabs. There we go. Red. Okay, that's not too bad. I will take a red. In the north corner. Billman. What if he flees? That could be bad. Why not yellow? Well, yellow would be interesting. 
But if he flees and Undead comes in, and if I have to fight a boss, I am not going to be happy. So, chat, that could be good, that could be bad. We'll see. Okay, Tier 2 is almost escaping. Cake, you sit tight, buddy. Sauron, you sit tight. Quick draw. Quick draw misses! He misses an 88. That's actually big. That's actually big. Okay, this is the turning point. Turn 10. The double dodge. The squire dodges, misses the bounty hunter. This is the turn, chat. This is the turn. How do I do it? Sinisipelli, I need to break this tie with Mr. Cadiz. I also need to get to that Master Archer somehow. Let's go here. How bad would a Bandit Yellow be? I mean... Oh no! Balthazar comes over here. The Squire walks down. The Hedge Knight... Not the Hedge Knight, that's Snorri. Well, Yellow Bandit is kind of like these guys, Dark Rage. So, more named enemies. Not the Squire. So, a Yellow would be like Snorri. It's mainly like Arnie. Arnie is the scariest one that I'm worried about. I'm not happy about this. Yeah. Anyways, let's put a net on that squire and put Moha here. Orcs trying to chase my backliners. What a jerk. Uh, I'm going to put Sev. One, two, three, four. So i got to put Sev here. Yep, that's the right place to put Sev. Sev's fine. He's fine. Netting the Squire is the right play. I knew the veteran would come down. I don't want to fight uphill. Nice dodge against the Master Archer. And then I get hit by the 60. That's not bad. Billman joins the fight. Good. He's not leaving. That's a good distraction. I'll take it. Sev, you're a good sacrifice. Love you, man. Uh, I now need to... No, you Willens is too slow. But I need him up here. I do need him up there. Frozen, what are we doing? We put you back here. Sing. Misses a 95. Come on, that's the second 95 you miss, Sing. What are you doing? This is not a fight to miss 95s. I need Snorri to burn. I need him to burn. Thank you, Regime. Oh dear. I need Cake to run away. Because I have Orcs on my ass. I have Bandits on my front. Roki, get up here. Lucky my Bounty Hunters are actually tanking the Orcs, so that's very good. 45's from the south. Kate is, is that even good? Can I Shield Bash instead? Wait, if I shield bash and get the Master Archer, I still don't think that's good, though. Okay, it wasn't good, but I I did get the normal hit. I know I missed from Sing to make up for the 88 miss from Quick Draw. I mean, those two are not perfectly compatible, but you're not wrong, GB. You're not wrong. I don't like that you're not wrong. Uh, 36%, and Drazus is slowly stacking up that fast adaptation. He might get a single hit this entire run. <laughs> uh, 51 with Gagball. Ooh, I need that. Yes, Gagball. Good shot. Now, don't die to a Master Archer, because I'll be very sad. Roki takes a bad hit. Nykrix. I didn't trust your 75. I'm sorry, I had to go for the poke. Okay, Barlow, it's up to you. Big swing. I hate it, Barlow. What are you doing? What are you doing? That's another 95 miss on the stupid Squire. What? He would have been dead by now. Oh, Bodge. Chat, I need good luck in this fight, not bad luck. We have a lot of hard things to do to go up on this flank. There's so many big enemies collapsing on our position. This is not a bueno situation. Ooga booga. Ooga booga indeed, Mongo. Thanks for the 100 bits, man. 
Since apparently misses both coin flips. No, no, Black Star with a 75s from the high ground. This is not good. Snorri, I could do a spear wall here with Sev. Does he have vigorous assault? He better not. Oh no, I can't. I can't do spear wall because Sev's too exhausted. Well, that sucks. Anyways, not the end of the world. Maybe, maybe not. Kind of like to watch me suffer sometimes. Um, I never imagined that, chat. You guys like to watch me suffer. In what universe? <laughs> the pig walks up to our tank and hits him for 50%. Oh boy, I am not liking that. 35% Crozen, that is bad. Crozen, I think I need to put nets on people. Wait, did I? No! I think I replaced Crozen's nets from the last fight. Did I forget to replace nets? Frozen has one net. Okay, he's still okay. Sing thanks for the 95. Finally gets it. Cake, I think we still keep running, right? No, no, we're kind of okay. Let's wait for a second. Lightning 34 on the pig. Really? Well, that didn't work. That did not work. Uh, Nox dead. Sonori's trying to flank our south, which is kind of annoying. 60%. 90. If he goes for the... Actually, if he goes for the Orc Young, that's actually really good for me. I need to focus up here. No! Regime misses a 60 freaking percent. That sucks. I'm trying, dear. I'm trying my best. This is not a good fight now, but I do need this hit, Roki, please. Rolls of 57 out of 56. Come on. Come on, game. I think we lose now. I'm running out of faith, chat. Oh, I'm running out of faith. My faith is getting low. Oh, hi, Squire. Double 45s. I have not hit a single hit in so long. Thank you for the help, Orc, though. I do appreciate it. You are a real one. Nykrix, could you... Thank you, Nykrix! Something good happens for once. We got our first kill in, like, forever. Oh, and Roki's dying. Barlow, get your ass up there. I need to catch a quick draw. Quick draw does a stupid! That's actually huge. Uh, Sev, you go here and body block. That's your job. Moha, I think we can push forward. Oh no, but then there's these guys! I hate that there's still so many more enemies. And I can't get enough kills. One, two, three, four. I need to put Moha here. Oh! That's bad. If you guys spawn something in, I won't say no. It'll be a nice distraction. Or it could be something that's death. There's always the possibility of either or. Lack of faith is killing you, and I must confess I still believe. I'm glad you still believe, Mikkel. But my my lack of faith is, is not really the main problem, but it's not helping. Double 63s and my ally misses. The orc... Warrior is most likely going to lose to the Bounty Hunter, because he's amazing. Was there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a Swordsman, necro. Swordsman, you've been stacking up some spins there, man. You, you're you really fishing for something big. No, Roki, could you stop taking hits? Son of a biscuit. Fighting uphill is not the best way to go. Come on, Streamlabs, stop being useless. Streamlabs. There we go, Streamlabs. When it blinks on chat, that means it's fixed itself. It's a free kill! I'll take it! I'll take anything you've got, Black Swordsman. What are you killing? You can't kill the orcs because they respond in. So you have to kill a brigand now. There's no Nox left. I will take it! What is there to kill? There is the veteran in the back. There is hedge knights. There's the veterans in the middle. 
There's this veteran on 10 health. There is uh, Bloody Arnie. There's a Squire. There's Balthazar. There's the Pig. Bandit veteran with 10 health. Yeah, I thought you'd go for him. I thought you would, Black Swordsman. Thanks for the free kill. It ruins that confidence of the Hedge Knight. Hooray! And I mean it's one less enemy to deal with. Thanks, man. Thanks. Okay, Sing, I need you where? Do I need you here? kind of need you here in case they flank down this way. But Barlow has to deal with Blalthazar. That kind of sucks. Maybe I put Sing here to help with the hits. Because there's no way I kill the pig and save Roki. This is really bad. Spim Claws will help us here. It will. It really will. I might have to Spim Claws something. And out of everything on the map, I'm really scared of Bloody Arnie. And I'm also scared of the pig. The pig is doing a lot of damage to me. What's Spim Claws? Spim Claws is I get to kill something, but my punishment for killing things is increased gambling. And that is more spins added to the fight every single time I kill something with the dev tools. So, yeah, it's pretty bad. You've given me three field kills. You should be feeling more enthusiastic since Swordsman. You're right. I should feel more enthusiastic about the free kills, my man. I appreciate it. Yeah, I think the pig's got to go. He is the biggest threat on the battlefield. Yeah, I got to go for it, chat. Spim Claws. Activate. I am now Mongo. <laughs> you are Mongo indeed, Holy Crimson. Thanks for the 400 bits. Pig's gone. I do three spins. This could be bad. Thank you, Streamlabs, for not breaking. No, 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 not a yellow. Okay. Red is okay. Uh, I add red where? Probably top. Top corner. Engineer does nothing. Okay, that's good. Engineer is literally just bait. Damn it, that's a yellow. No. That's a pixel into the freaking yellow. Dang it. Okay, I'll add him to the bottom right. Yellow added in... Is it the right spot to put him? Yeah, he's near my allies. Nope, he's facing the wrong direction. He's gotta die. Um, That's a badass. It's Napoleon? He's facing the wrong direction, though, so he's gotta die. But that guy looks amazing. Anyways, fashion skate for the win. Oh, no. No. Y-E-L-L-O-W. That's a perfectly timed crash. Um, I'm keeping on the battlefield. This fight's going to lose in the end, no matter what. So chat, instead, you guys get this dude. Urgat the Fool. The Foul. So enjoy that. Oh, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to cell swords. This is what I'm talking about. It's just so easy to crash this dang one. Anyways, that's a cool looking orc. I've never seen him before. And if he starts attacking his ally, then that's kind of bugged and whatever. Oh, and I've got one more spin. Fudge. Still a snow gets emergency kill an enemy in this fight. It's punished for using god powers. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I need to change it. I know. I need to change it to three. It's another red. Okay, so red joins the red team, which is over here. It's an assassin. Nice. Okay, so that's the three spins that I get punished with. If I spin claws again this fight, it's four spins. Uh, Sing, I need you here. Moha, stay safe, buddy. On this high ground. And then Sev... But the bug spawn won't it crash on me in the fight. Yes, that's the issue, but I'm going to still count the fight how it works. If the fight ends in a certain way, it ends in a certain way. That's a nice 35. Scary dude goes for the... Yes! That's actually good. Now what? Okay, that's not where I was wanting to really... I can't have fatigue. Okay, that's fine. 
Manila assassins from the Reds lately? Yeah, it's interesting. No! Sauron's dead. Master Archer snipes the edge of the map. That's a kill. I hate you, Master Archers. I hate you guys with a passion. So much for the believers, chat. So much for the believers. First one down. No, sweetie, you're not meant to be counting that as a good thing. My wife's against me, chat. Help. <laughs> it was a level one bro and he just joined the team, but still, I feel bad for losing him. Two more to go, says Grim. No, don't join in. I'm taking 70s and 60s. Come on, game. I knew the veteran was coming. Go away, buddy. Roki, 68. Thank you. Roki finally hit something. Drace is exhausted. That's fine. Snorri's losing to the Orc Young. Good for you, buddy. Nykrix, 61. That sucked, and you know it. Barlow, you don't have enough defense to dodge Balthazar, do you? I'll risk it once. 37! Quick draw gets hit, but no injury. Dang it! Good stuff, Barlow. Good stuff. Rotate. Rotate! That's actually good. Because that means Roki survives. Okay. I'm fine with that. So you have to go to your take on the, the show she likes? Yeah, 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 I believe it. Quick draw rotates. Oh, full footwork's to the low ground. Quick draw's an idiot. I like quick draw when he's being stupid. I haven't seen what these dudes do. Oh, please tell me he doesn't crash. Please tell me he ends his turn. He moved! He's a he's alive? No, he's not alive. He's just on the map and he can't be killed. Quick draw's being weird. I'll live with it. No, I, he's just infinitely alive. So as long as the game wins without him... I don't know what he's doing. I'm going to ignore that. Uh, Moha, do you have a free net? You do. And do I want to put it on the hedge knight? I kind of do. Just so he goes away. Yeah. Ignore the hedge knight. Stay safe, boys. Once he swings, crash SFX? Maybe. But usually, when it has that bug... Okay, they don't hate each other, which is kind of sad. The Orc Young is dominating! How is he getting lucky on Snorri so easily? He's hit a 36, a 50, and a 65. Pain be upon ye? Pain be upon ye for sure. Upon me. I'm not liking it. I missed a 95 with Sing again. Sing, that is the third freaking 95 you missed! This combat... How? You've only fought for like five rounds. Oh, this is pure pain and the Swordmaster's going to one, two, three, four. Chase Cake. Cake needs to run away. Oh, God. You've had a witch hunter die, but being like that guy at the game didn't crash at the end? Oh, lucky Black Swordsman. Maybe I get lucky out of it. I'm going to hope and pray I don't get the game crashing. Okay, Sev, good hit. I'm really struggling, and I don't want to die, but we already have one person dead. Master Archer freaking footworks. Of course he did. Of course he did. Oh, Orc Young wins in the end. Just barely. Oh, uh, veteran, you're an ass. You're a complete ass, man. There's the lightning hit I wanted. Good job, Willens. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God. Seth, it's was it a compliment? Bro. It was kind of a compliment. Ever so slightly. Shield bash didn't work. That kind of sucks, because I need Regime to do damage, but he's now stuck. Spin the wheel. Yes, yes, there is the spin, Mad Crow. What destruction are you bringing upon me today? It is orcs again. So green skin added to the green skin side. It's a goblin. That's not too bad. Not too bad indeed. I'll take that. Uh, Gagball, I need this uh, guy to die. Nope, didn't work. Cadiz, I need this guy to die. That didn't even bleed him. Okay, 65s are bad. 
Noted. Squire gets shot by Dre's this. That's new. Nykrix hits something. That's good. Sensibelli! Double 57 53. Oh my goodness. Squire gets hit. Roki! Draw gets a broken nose. I'm feeling a little bit better about this. Have I rolled a Kraken before? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is something I've rolled before. It is no longer on my list of spins. Uh, it's on the named list spin, I think. But it's not on the monster spin anymore, sadly. But Kraken is something I've spawned in the past. Definitely a very scary thing to add to a fight. Okay, you're a jerk, Mr. Big Dude. Wait. Is he... Whose side is he on? This orc dude is scaring me. I don't know whose team he's on. I think they're both coming for me. Chat, I was kind of ignoring them. I don't know if I can ignore them for much longer. Since probably good kill. Moha, what do you have? Not much. Yeah, this is Struggle Town. Can I shield bash this dude? Thank you, Sev! I needed that shield bash badly. Oh, the stupid 54%. Sing hits the 64. That's big. Cut arm sinews big. Cake, keep hiding. They look harmless, keep ignoring them. I'll I'll keep trying to ignore them. I don't think it's gonna work. I'll be honest. Don't think my strategy is working for that reasoning. No, Bounty Hunter took a hit. Regime, I need you. No, you missed a 72 by rolling a 100. Regime, what are you doing? I need you right now. You can't fail me. Not after we've been through so much. Maybe Dre's this doesn't fail me. 35%. Nope, Dre's this does fail me. That is unfortunate. Uh, Roki, I think I wait on your turn. Gag Ball, 23%. Nope, Gag Ball fails me as well. Spim Claws is looking more and more enticing. See, that's what I don't like. But that is the whole point of Spim Claws. The more enticing it is, the more dangerous it is for me. So, thank you for the suggestion, Holy Crimson. I will consider it, and I will scarily consider it. Thank you, Nykrix, for the hit. Barlow, we got Quick Draw. I don't know if I'm getting anyone else, though, because Barlow is in a very bad state. Oh! Snorri did a bad thing. He decided to walk out in the middle of nowhere. The Assassin is here to help. That's good. The Billman is not really here to help. That's not good. Okay. Oh, the Assassin helps! Good job, Assassin. Thank you. Good job, Orc Warrior. Um, Are you evil? Are you on my back line for a good reason or a bad reason? Chat, I'm worried. Did I, did I not account for this, or is this... Where's the I'm in danger snow emote? Yeah, that's that's an emote we desperately need. Because I... I don't know what's going to happen. But I don't want to be here when it, ha when it does. Stupid Master Archer. He doesn't seem evil. 69, thank you, Crozen. Nice. Sing, thank you. Yeah, it doesn't seem like he's evil, but if he kills my bro, then I'm going to be very sad. This is what happens when you play with these lovely mods that really don't like each other. Oh, I can still shoot! No, no, he's on my team! But he's not doing anything. He's our mascot. Okay, chat, we found our mascot in the most unlikely of places. And I gotta shoot this darn veteran. Thank you. He's standing there, menacingly. Yeah, that's basically it. 
<clears throat> That's the dude we have to worry about. But I most certainly panicked when he ran up to me and I was like, okay, well, is he going to kill me? Am I alive? Could this be a bit of both? Who knows? Oh, the Billman's helping me out. Thank you. Since Billy dodges a 57, that's big. Roki, I need you right now. That's a nice hit. Dre's this, you are very exhausted and you have five bolts left. Keep working, my buddy. Keep working. 45. Nykrix gets the kill I needed. Good. Now what? 14%. <laughs> I think that's the best I can hope for. 31's better, actually, Gag Ball. And you missed. Okay, this dude's on his own. Not an issue. Everyone else is an issue, though. But I'm working on them. Barlow will be working hard. We gotta support Barlow whilst he's struggling on his own. Oh, wait. Are they gonna start fleeing? Wait! They might be getting low enough. No, there's still 17 enemies. If I get to the point where they're starting to flee, chat, I'm gonna be very happy. <gasps> the orc is actually evil to these guys! Arnie's battling the orc! That's huge! Arnie's the biggest threat! And he's distracted! And the orc hits the orc. And that's a reach... That's a reach weapon?! Urgat the Foul is wielding a reach weapon, and he's beating up his own orc ally. Never thought I'd see that before, but okay. Sure, why not? Sinispelli, I need this hit. Uh, you got one of them, and you triggered his nine lives, so that's pretty good. Cake, you have a friend, and your mascot is being friendly. One, two, three, four. I'm not threatened. The man's foul of foul. Yeah, he's definitely... Betrayed his own kind. K Singh, get over here. Yes, the white flag of victory. Moha, you are not doing well right in the moment, but that's okay. We will get through this together. Oh, he's going after the engineer. That's good. Barlow, stay safe. Barlow. Mm, the Willens can't do much here. Bill Billman's helping. That's good. D-Hunt, welcome to the stream, man. Finally caught us live. That's good to hear, man. Welcome, welcome. You came at a great time during an insanely crazy fight. All I can do is just hope and pray that this works. Regime, please. 83. Regime, 90. The double fire arrows and he's on fire and he's fleeing! Let's go! Okay, we're turning. This is the turning point. Round 16, chat. Round 16. I was here. Oh, he rotates his friend. But the Master Archer puts himself in melee. That's actually good. Kadas, get you over here, buddy. Get over here. He recover a little bit. That's fine. Hedge Knight's wandering around. He's wasting time. Time is always what I need. And enemies are wasting it. And Drazus gets a kill! Chat, the numbers are dwindling. We need a Necro in this fight? No, 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 no. No, thank you. I don't want a Necro. I will deal without also Roki and Mr. 55. That kind of sucks. This veteran will take forever to die. I don't like it, but he's going to take a while. Holy crap, it's a massacre. It's just a normal, everyday massacre. Nothing fancy. Barlow gets a beautiful kill. Let's go. The Billman's distracted. That's good. Roki takes a bad three, two. Oh dear, Roki, that's bad. I need to net this veteran or we're screwed. Assassin. Over... Assassin to 5%. My first attempts at summoning were crude, and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. Is there a the spin meat? The best results came from pigs, oh, whose God, flesh is most like that of man. Ugh. Yeah, that's right, the pigs. Anyways, we get a bingo for the enemy hits of 5%. The assassin to 5% on the Swordmaster, which is not what I expected, but then he died because of it. Also, the orc died, and now it's a bounty hunter versus the orc f crazy dude, and then Arnie. Weird trio attack when it was a foursome attack, now it's a threesome. I don't know. And it does seem like they're fleeing, so I think we win this chat. Yeehaw, don't bring a necromancer into this fight. I'm I'm telling you, I'm warning you. It's a free kill, I'll take it. That was it. That was a nice bluff. The bluff worked, chat. A threesome, you say. It was a foursome, but now it's a threesome. Yeehaw, thanks for the free kill. Let's go. I'm getting some really lucky free kills in this fight. Kill the engineer. No, he was spawned in. You can't kill him. 
I'm getting way too lucky in this fight. Chat. It was 65 enemies, and this is Cell Swords. I'm taking all the luck I can get. I missed 395s with Sing. My luck has to be counterbalanced somewhere. Kill yourself. I can't kill myself. Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, you can actually kill Arnie. You could kill the Squire at the back. You can kill the fleeing guy on 7 health. Mm -hmm. um, you can also kill the Master Archer. You can kill the Veteran. You can kill the Hedge Knight. You can kill the Swordmaster. Yeha says kill Sing. Well, Sing does deserve that a little bit. <laughs> Cake is banded, by the way. Poor bastard has been bleeding forever. Oh, he has his own bandages? Oh, yeah. Cake does have his own bandages. Whoops. I forgot about that. <laughs> Cake, you're fine. Yaw says nice, and it says my choice. Whoa. We already killed Quick Draw. It's all good. We killed him. Quick Draw's already dead, Yeehaw, so you don't have to worry about killing him. You can just kill the veteran if you want. It's perfectly fine. I won't feel bad if you just kill the veteran, because I think we're winning this fight anyways. My choice. You're being too kind. If it's my choice, I probably will kill the Swordmaster. Because if he rejoins the fight, I'm kind of screwed. But if the Hedge Knight joins the fight, I can kind of body him. Yeah, I, I think the right play is kill the Swordmaster. Hedge Knight, well, he's too far away. And I can use, like, fire arrows to annoy him. So I think Swordmaster is the right play here, chat. We kill him. And Yeehaw is being too kind, and I much appreciate it. Thank you, my man. I still have this guy to scare about. So I have some scary dudes on the fight that might not be fleeing just yet. So I can't be too cocky, chat. We haven't won yet. And the engineer is not really winning. So fun times for him. Mohawk, you're out of nets. But you did hit a 61. Frozen, you got a net? You do. Good. Sing. Sweep. I mean, that worked. It didn't get a kill, but it worked. Footwork. No, not the... F Wait, if he's fleeing, that's okay. But I still don't like the footwork. 7171. Thank you, Ewellens, for missing both of those. Billman's having a good day. Hedge Knight seems like he's fleeing. Go chase the dude fleeing. Uh, Regime, you could shoot the veteran. It's probably the best play. And we missed the 76. Come on! I might still lose Roki, chat. I might actually lose Roki. Roki, please. That's a big hit, but it's not enough. It's a beautiful headshot. Wait, Roki has a shield. I can pull out a shield. I need to get the kill, though. No... Nykrix, 95. 89. Do I risk the 89 for the guaranteed kill? I risk it. That was a scary risk, but I had to do it. Because a pierce would not kill. It wouldn't go through the armor. But I know the smite would have. Oh, <laughs> that was a little too close for comfort. Okay, dead on the way out. The enemies are fleeing. I now have one scary dude to fight. What are you what are you doing, Arnie? That's a weird three-way. Golden dude's going north. You have a good time there, buddy. Enemies fleeing, which is great. I get the sword that the the bow that I want. Now comes the hard part. How do I get rid of the giant orc? I think I just pepper him with arrows, but then Arnie's down there too, so he's pretty scary. Whatever the plan is, chat, it's got to be playful and safe. Very safe. Should have killed Arnie for the loot since they're fleeing. That's true. I could have killed Arnie for the loot, but I think he's going to be tied up with the orc. What if the orc steals the kill? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you're right. Maybe I should have ignored the Swordmaster. I don't know. Maybe pick up the pain items my hand so there's no bug loot at the end. Ooh. Not a bad idea. I don't think there will be bugged loot, but I might do it just to be safe. Regime, start the fire. Let him burn. And gag ball on a 5%. Nice try, buddy. Famed bow trash. Oh, we actually have to check what the famed bow looks like. If it's trash, I might cry. 
All this effort for a bow that's useless will make me sad. He broke his shield. Okay, Arnie's screwed. <laughs> Arnie was in a good position. Arnie has lost his shield. He's going to kill the bounty hunter. Oh, he missed a 95. Why is everybody missing 95s? I, I am confused. I'm confused. How did I get into this fight? Um, Quite easily. I dragged Nox into a famed location fight. And then chat spawned in a bunch of crap. Which helped. Uh, and then also I have a bugged enemy that's just wandering my own side of the battlefield. And I don't know what he's doing. He's being weird. So I'm ignoring him as much as I can. And uh, yeah, that's kind of how I'm working around these things. I just ignore my problems, chat. It usually works. Well, emphasis on maybe not so usually. Okay. We're almost done here. We just have some obstacles to get through. Ewillens, what's the bow look like? That's actually pretty good. Nice durability, bonus damage, minus one fatigue. It doesn't have much else, though, so it's not the best bow. But it's a hell of a lot better than the bow we already have. So thank you very much. I'm happy about that. It looks kind of lame. It doesn't have the best art to it. But it's still a decent bow. Is that a legendary short bow? No, it's just a legendary normal war bow. It's not a short bow, sadly. Uh, Roki, you're out of this fight. Sorry, man. You are just ready for death. So let's not say we did. Bloody Arnie does more damage now that he does not have a shield. So I can't count him out just yet. Okay, Barlow, I don't want you to be in this fight, but you might have to be. Actually, if I put Barlow here, I can walk up to him next turn, but he's got so much health. No, there's no way. Barlow, you stay back. I'm sorry, I can't put you too close just yet. Nightcrix, you're good for this fight as well, so you stay there. Goblin is not activated, which is weird, but okay. Arnie's leaving! That's kind of good. I'm pretty sure Orc Dude's not going to leave. No matter what happens in this fight, Orc Dude's probably not leaving. So I kind of need to pepper him down the most. Normal bows look better than famed bows. Yeah, the normal war bow has a good art to it. It's such a good art. Sensapelli, you're doing fine. Cake, you stay out of this. The Billman's just having a fun day over there. Crows and you got no more nets, that's kind of bad. Yikes. Warbo ends at 70, this one starts at 66, that's not so bad. Yeah, it's not so bad. It's it's better than a Warbo, because it is a Warbo, but it's it it's not bad. It's just not the best bow ever. And I'm okay with that. Wait, the dude's immune. Why can't I shoot him? What? Is he invisible like the other dude? No. Is he on my side? I think he's bugged. Why are all the named enemies bugged? I'm going to bring, bring in another named enemy. But the butcher's so easy to kill. I'll bring him in. Is this guy evil? Barlow, do I face tank to see if he's evil? I mean, this is punishment for me um, not doing well, but I don't know. I don't know. Dev 2 might kill the bug is my fear. Yeah, I think I think we're just kind of screwed on this bug sort, this bug front. I can't target him. These bugs, man. These bugs are going crazy. Don't risk Barlow. Yeah, Barlow's a bit kind of important for the team. He's getting closer. Maybe he's just untargetable. That's what worries me. Okay, Arnie's leaving. My friendly dude actually does damage. Okay, so even if they're untargetable, they still do damage. Why didn't they attack each other? Was there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a Necro. I mean, he could be my friend. I don't know. 
I don't know at this stage. This is not good. I don't like not knowing. That's a monster. That's also not good. Oh god, that's really bad. Oh, that's not good. Well, someone's dying. Thanks, Mactabilis. Thanks, man. Time to run. Time to run after the stupid lady. Okay, so yeah, the butcher famed butchers kind of suck. They're scary to medium to low parties. But they kind of suck at the same time. What is he doing? He's not doing anything. I'm, I'm so scared of this orc. I don't know what he wants. What does he want, chat? Who did I lose? I haven't lost... Oh, I did lose one person. I lost uh, Sauron. Sauron is dead gonzo for sure. But everyone else is fine. Shoot the dude. I can kill this guy at least. This should be better than just bits. Thank you for the entertainment. Thank you, Crimson. I appreciate the lovely support. $10 donation is technically better than bits. So I appreciate it. It does bypass the premium money that Twitch makes you pay for bits. So, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it a lot. Do the claws, do the roar. I don't know if the claws is gonna work. Mad Crow, that's... I'm so scared right now. Oh, you're gonna steal my kill. You stinking goblin! The goblin stole the famed kill. Don't do it, don't do it! Nykrix, you... You might kill Barlow. Wait, wait. Nykrix, Nykrix, we need to talk. Nykrix, my man. Remember your friends. Don't simp. Is there a bingo moment for what? Valuable kill gets stolen? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That does count. Uh, since spell to get over here. Can you pick up if they held a weapon? Um, I can't pick up anything if somebody's holding a weapon. I can only pick up a weapon if it's on the ground. Napoleon's gonna kill the simp. Oh no! <laughs> he's helping me out. He's doing a great job. And I'm glad he's on my side. I'm just kind of worried at the same time. Don't do it. Don't do it, buddy. Don't do it. I, I think I have to finish this fight. I don't think there's a way I can finish this fight. If this dude's unkillable, I think we just lose. <laughs> I can't target him. He's probably just going to murder us all. So, like I said, chat, if a bad bug happens, I just call the fight as it is. I just need to kill this hex immediately, and then I can call the fight. Because everyone else has fled. Oh, the goblin's still here. I gotta kill that goblin. Goblin? Oh, and the, the, the Billman's still alive. Wait, he didn't attack me! What? I'm so confused. No, no, I can't dev tool it, Roki, because he'll probably have the same issue as the, the, the golden dude. See how he doesn't have a name? That's the dev tool killing him. But the game's still thinking he's alive. So he's an invisible dude. He's a friend too. I think he's a friend. Can I hit him with AoEs? Yes, you can always hit allies with AoEs. So I don't have an AoE attack though. That's my only thing to not like check to see if he's still hittable. He did take damage though. It's, it's weird. It's weird. Nice! Since probably got a good kill. Now, Nykrix, you didn't kill your ally. That's great. His flag looks to my side. Oh, you're right, Alan. That's right. His flag is on my side. That's how you can tell. Because enemy flags face the other way. Ally flags face left. Enemy flags face right. I just thought he was not on my side because his head was the wrong way around. 
and his body's the wrong way around. His weapon's correctly around the right way. That's weird. Okay, I'm I'm happy with this. He's on our team, which is weird. I'll give you guys a free yellow spin somewhere later down the track. But I do worry about the yellow spins when I'm playing with cell swords. It's not working. It's not working very well. 19% gag ball, that was unfortunate. Regime, 85. 85. Goblin's dead. Okay, now we just win. We clean up and we win this. Phew. Yellow spin got stolen. Yeah, it did. Oh, the Billman left. Okay, it's a zombie. Okay, okay. Not too bad. Had to do that as an undead because the Billman did count as a spin. Wait, are the saplings fleeing? <laughs> I'm okay with the saplings flee. They don't count as a respin because the hex is dead. But saplings fleeing is hilarious because they're actually not meant to flee. Yeah, after the saplings die, the fight should end, uh, including the, the zombie as well. Hopefully it works. Hopefully it works. Your kid's up. Thanks for the stream. Have a wonderful day, buddy. No worries, potato. You have a good rest of your day, man. Have a wonderful time and... Hope your kid has a great day as well. And we'll see you next time. Okay, onwards. We need to win. We need to get rid of the zombie. And then we're out of here. We're out of here. Easy does it. No more panicking, Snow. You have this fight under wraps. I don't know how we did it. A little bit of bugged help. I mean, these guys didn't actually do that much. The named guys came in super late and they killed one enemy each. So it they, they don't count. They did distract a little bit. You guys distracted me for three minutes. No, no, don't distract me for three minutes. No, no, I need to win this. No more distractions. I missed a 95. Come on. Hey, Orc, dude, you're not doing much. That's fine. Just chill, buddy. Just chill. Zombie walks closer. Good for him. Yellow guy's helping me out. Good for you, buddy. Sing misses a 95 again. How many 95s am I going to miss, chat? One of these days, I will never know. What's my opinion on onion soup? It's not that amazing. As long as there's, like, no real onion pieces in it. Like, no big pieces. I'm okay with onion soup. I just can't do big pieces of onion. It's just not that amazing. I can do onion soup if it's, like, chopped up nicely. Nice small pieces. Why don't you complete the bingo? Uh, it's a gifted sub for the community. And that's something that we try and work towards. Because it's fun. Uh, kill. There's one sapling. Sapling, leave us. Leave us, leave us. Don't distract it. Focus. I'm focusing. I know, because Starfades only has the one kill. That's why he's super happy on the focus. Uh, sapling leaves and we win, right? Sapling leaves and we win. Sapling leaves and we win. Yes! It didn't crash! Oh, I hope it doesn't crash after the save. That's one death. That's 100% counted. What the heck? Why is there so many bodies? Uh, why is it 27 rounds? Why is there so many kills? There's nothing to see here, Lolly. Nothing to worry about. And hey, Bavarian, you guys missed nothing. It wasn't like the biggest fight of our lives, and I hope this doesn't crash. Um, I really hope this doesn't crash. But congratulations to the non-believers. I was hoping Sauron wouldn't die, but then again... Two Master Archers and one of them being famed was not a good combination, giving them the high ground. So congratulations on the number two believers. There you go. There you go. Okay, so what do we get as loot? Uh, we keep the battle standard. That's nice. Which is hair. And we keep the bow. The bow's in our inventory, so we don't actually lose it. That's good. Uh, and we don't get much else, because we didn't kill that many enemies. We killed a few. Just not that many. I will happily give up. No, there's not much I want to give up. I'll give up that, get the net. And I'll lose eight items in my stat. Oh, screw it. How did Sauron hold on to eight items? I don't know. No! No! I don't have inventory space for that! I do have inventory space. Thank God, the swank. We have the swank, chat. I was worried we'd lose the item that I missed. I missed a spin.
Oh god, it's a Oh, necro. that made me panic. Okay, now here's the big issue. Roki, thanks for the spin. Crimson? Crimson, please do not predict the crash. The no poor devils. Chained and drowning for eternity. No, I will drown for eternity if this save corrupts. <sighs> okay. Okay. No save corruption is huge. Holy crap. Holy crap. Of course you get space, meds and supplies can just convert. No, 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 Kaiser. No, 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 no. I like that thinking. But remember, Kaiser, there were extra items in the inventory before we finished looting. And it chooses those before it chooses the item at the end of the quest. So I thought I was completely full from the extra bonus items that were still in the loot screen from the auto loot, and therefore I wouldn't have gotten the swank. So that's why I panicked for that. And the save corruption didn't happen. Holy crap. Holy crap. That was scary. So now steps up the dev tool. That's not really what happened, but I'll count it. Um, what else did you guys get from this? That's about it. Nice. Oh, we do have a spin. Good night, sweetie. It is almost 10 o'clock, so it's a good time to go to bed. But Dav Cool wins this day. Was my goal of 20 enemies and uh, 24 enemies? Was that not complete? I think it does count as complete. I haven't, you know, resumed the game, so we'll see if that works. But good night, sweetie. Have a good sleep. Uh, where are we going with this? Crozen, you would like a level up. And you can get Quartermaster? You cannot. Well, that sucks. Let's go Crippling instead. And then we get Quartermaster next level up. Plus three, plus three into the plus four HP. That's good. Uh, Drazes with the throwing build. Plus four, plus three into the stamina. I mean, hybridization is important. It doesn't help you now, but it will be. Uh, Gagball with the range. He survives. He stays alive. And he did some okay plays. Let's get him his Sling Mastery. Nice to see it. Cake, how are you going? You are... You know what? Nimble's not a bad play here. It's not... I don't mind keeping Cake alive. That'll be helpful. Okay, so there's a 3 and a 4 with a Fencer, and I need to make him faster? Yes, faster is good. And we have the level up for Cadiz, which is... smaller? Or... Fresh and Furious is pretty disgusting. I'm going to go with Fresh and Furious. It's just such a good perk. And fatigue's important, so let's go there. Uh, last but not least, Sing has a level up, which we do want to... Do I go for the Battleforged? Actually, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I think I go medium. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Battle Forge is not good. Because remember, we're playing with the AoE build, and we can't stam it out. I mean, we're playing with 10 fatigue. But 10 times 2... I think medium is better. You go live, you can take penance. Yeah, I could maybe take penance. And then, if I go for the AoE damage, it gives me 5% maximum damage for every hostile entity adjacent to you. In the zone's actually really good. Yeah, in the zone's good. I'm running out of perks, so I guess I go lithe first. Because then that gives me 25% damage reduction at the moment. And then I want to go in the zone. I want to go balanced, but I'm running out of perks. I will have to figure that out. We'll see how we go. Oh, no, no, wait. No, 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 no. I'm not running out of perks. The uh, student gives me two. No, no, I'll be fine. I can get both of those. Both sounds good. Uh, we get a little bit more fatigue. And that keeps the stam high. And that's the good build. Okay. We got a spin from Mr. Roki. So we will do that right now. Before I forget. Very important. And, uh, yeah. Went for the midday big lunch. Trying to eat twice every day. Twice every day, same time midday at 7pm. Interesting. It's good to have a regular schedule of eating. Glad to hear it. Hi, Smongo. And Crimson's trying to move house today, does a bunch of outdoor stuff, wants to eat what he can. 
Same thing, big lunch and dinner. Yep, nice. Nice. I try and stay, like, somewhat consistent. Doesn't always work. But consistency is important. Mine's a bad trait. That actually could be good. That could be good. Ragged Edge, no crashing with the traits. Uh, I have Irrational and Fear of Undead, which are both not super amazing. But if Sev is going to be a staple on the team, chat... Where is he? He does have Cocky. Roki, do we bring Sev? Do we bring him back from the grave? Barlow wants the tier 2 without being encumbered? Uh, probably not. No. Barlow, you do not survive with the tier 2 being encumbered. Your medium armor, this is heavy armor. No, there's no way you survive with the tier 2. Unless I put you on like a 1 for 40 and then the only thing you're wearing is the tier 2, but... No, it's fine. I'll give it to someone else. Someone else can enjoy that. Maybe Sing can work it with the medium? I don't know. Who's got heavy? Is Cadiz going heavy? No, Cadiz is nimble. Who's going heavy? Not many people have the chance to be heavy. Roki says, where's my selfish rolls? Hey, Roki, it doesn't help you with this one, sadly. You have no bad traits. You're mad, athletic, and fearless. Doesn't help. Wingate says, do I have heavy armor? I don't think I have heavy armor, bro. I thought I did. Sing was considering it, but it's not going to work. It's better to go medium. And then Ewillens is a dodge tank. Maybe I could pop it on Barlow. I'm not sure. Barlow has Battleforged, but I haven't given it to him. Actually, wait, Barlow could be Battleforged. Wait, 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 wait. But Barlow has no perks. Barlow's out of perks. He'll get some perks when he gets the Rising Star. Let me do some, let me do this chat. Let's see if this works. I'm full of inventory. Okay, I'll do it later. <laughs> I'm not doing it now. I'll do it later. Rookie says, got two yellows and one red. No selfish rolls now till, oh, uh, till now. It's fine. You'll give it away. Let's get Sev sorted. He deserves it. He's been shafted this entire time. Sev gets rid of his cockiness. He'll be good. GB says, I wish I could stay consistent, but working overnight screws up any chance of eating consistently. Oh, yeah, that sounds pretty rough, man. I would agree. Uh, Sev, there's cocky, and cocky goes, bye bye Nice to see it cleaned up. Okay. Team needs a cleanup in terms of health and all of those goodies. So uh, let's go get paid. <laughs> Go all the way back to Kronenkoog to get paid? Because this isn't a noble quest. Oh. Okay, well that kind of makes sense. What if you wanted more shaftings as Legion? Well, then, you know, you gotta pay for it. <laughs> the shafting isn't free. <laughs> oh dear. It, man, getting beaten up by quick draw, man. You, you, you have to, some people pay to do that kind of stuff. That was rough. Oh, boy. Okay, do we have someone on scouting? We do. We need to make sure that that's healing up. We beat the 24 enemies as expected, chat. That is our ambition done. Barlow gets drunk because he lost his friend. He lost Grim. He lost Sauron. Maybe drunk's good for Barlow. Wait! That's actually good because he gets 10% damage. Barlow, enjoy the alcohol. Drink up, me hearty. <laughs> hire someone for heavy armor. Says Wingate, yeah, I need to hire another uh, tank. And if I can get a heavy tank, that'll be really good. Beasts, five. Southern City State Employment, five. And every single location. I'm going Beasts. That's the easiest one to do. Even though it's not that easy, but it's easy enough. Yeah, drink to that one, Barlow, for sure. I'm out of tools. Great. Let's sell a bunch of our crap that I don't need. Those two are useless. I don't need as many of those. I hate that armor piece. Barbarian armor piece is not worth it. Undead is not worth it. Don't really like the Step Helmet that much. What are you doing, Step Helmet? Anyways, uh, let's go and get rid of these. Uh, get rid of those. <laughs> get rid of those. 
So now give the famed bow. Yeah, There's I need to give the famed bow, but I've got a full inventory. Oh god, it's a necro. Inventory needs some cleaning before I pop over bows to anybody. What are you doing, battle bro? Exactly, exactly. What on earth are you doing? Uh, let's get rid of you, get rid of you, get rid of you. You're useless. You are... Yeah, I've got enough of these helmets. Don't need that, don't need that. That's bad, that's bad. 60 for eight's not bad, per se. Could be worse. Sell those three. We have a cloak? Okay. Cultist armor is cool, so I'm going to keep it, not just because it's not that amazing, but it's cool. Sell the amber, and that inventory is looking a little bit nicer. I need to buy all of these tools. I need to stock up on food, because we are sucking at food at the moment. Alcohol, I do need to be, people to get drunk. I'll buy both pieces of alcohol. I have more armor-piercing bolts, that's pretty cool, but I don't need them per se. Am I forgetting something? Hyeries? We already checked them, didn't we? We did check them, okay. Uh, weaponsmith, is there anything I need? I might buy a net? Sure, why not? Any that I need? The great ruins belong to us, and we will find whatever secrets they hold. I do like the huge quiver of arrows, but it's so expensive, 5.8 grand. We will find things in the ruins for sure, and Barlow's got a spin, yep, that'll happen in a minute. Piercing arrows is 15% armor piercing, 5% reduced damage. 14 arrows is pretty cheap because it's only 580 bucks. I don't want to spend 5.8k. I'm not that rich. I'll spend the 580. And that's 5k as well. Sheesh. Okay, so that's fine. That's fine. Is the armory got anything I desperately need? You don't have any bar boots, so no. Okay, I'm happy with that. Drazus only has 10 bolts. Yeah, but Drazus is changing weapons. So I'm not too worried about Drazus only having 10 bolts. Ten bolts lasts you at least ten turns. Drazus has bad fatigue, so it lasts him more than ten turns. So I don't worry. He didn't run out in that fight, so you guys were worried about bolts. We played a 27-round fight. Drazus did not run out of ammunition. Also, he didn't have the, you know, accuracy or fatigue to really use his ammunition well. So don't panic about his ammunition. He's all good. We will get Regime's weapon out, though. Wait. Where's the bow? It bugged! The bow bugged out of our inventory! No freaking way. I shouldn't have put it in my inventory. But it shouldn't be a problem! Oh, I know why. I know why it happened. Full inventory. That's why it happened. Full inventory. Here, take this cell. Thanks, Crimson. I'm spawning a new bow, chat. I'm spawning a new bow. So, here's how it works. Spawn in one that sucks. I'll spawn in one that's crap. I'll spawn in a bad one. But chat, hear me out. This is how it works. If you put a weapon into your inventory from battles, it will be added to your equipment. But I think what happened is, I've got the tool here. Watch this. I've got the lovely option on that is reset equipment after battle. So after a battle, what happens? He willins, goes back to an empty inventory. So where does the bow go? It goes into my inventory. Which means, a full inventory, the bow goes poof. Yikes. <laughs> Anyways. Um, let's go get a bow. Ooh, that's a nice weapon. The one I spawn is probably going to be crappy anyways. When we get to one, throwing weapons, that's cool. Double throwing weapons. 
crossbow. That's so rare. But no, we're going bow. That's a famed sling, and that is a nice 12% chance to hit. Oh, it's beautiful. I have to say goodbye to it, though. Axes, maces. Oh, no, I hit J. Reflex. I'm an idiot. I reflexed. As I clicked down, I clicked with my wrong finger. It was probably a good one, chat. It was probably too good. It was the right call. I could just smell it. Okay, slow down, Snow. It's back. Okay, that is... That's a really good bow. I might... find a worse bow. I'll try one more. That's a gun. I know you guys want to keep it. It's a good bow. Because it has extra accuracy and no bonus damage. Okay, so wait. The difference is it's weaker in damage. But it has accuracy. Because the previous bow had bonus damage but no accuracy. You know what? Fine, fine. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. It's not that bad. It's not that great. And Regime already has good accuracy. So it's, it's worth. It's worth. So, it's a good substitute. The well-balanced flight adds to the team. It's got better armor ignore, which is not that much, but it's still nice. Because it's normally like 40, 40 to 45, I think, on a warbow. Unless it's 35. No, I think it's 40. Warbow has... 35. Okay, it is 35. So, 47 is not bad. But it's not that big of an increase, because 35 to 47, that's what, 12% of 50, which is like 5 extra damage? It's not that much. Not that much. So, that's all sorted. Everything's looking good. Uh, I'll sort out the armors in a second. But yes, Barlow, I won't forget your spin. We always do the spins eventually. Always get to it. Let's see what we get. Oh, Streamlabs. Streamlabs. You've been so good to me for months. Months. Streamlabs. Oh, oh. It worked. There we go. Permanent stats, Barlow. Love to see it. Stay nice and safe. Get more numbers. And that kind of counteracts your drunkard a little bit. 120 to 123. Good stuff. Good stuff. Stats are always way crazy, and you've gotten so many. And you almost died in that last fight, too. So no matter how many stats you get, you still have a chance to die. Especially when you get a horrible muscle-treated... Ooh, injury. 100%. Okay, so, uh, Barlow, I think we were maybe considering Battleforged for you, so let's do this. Encumbrance with a minus one. You know, minus one's not that bad, but it is technically not fatigue neutral. So I need... Where's a base crappy armor? I sold them all. Oh no, here's one. One for 20, plus this tier 2. Plus the tier 3, plus the tier 4, and Barlow's fine. And then I'll sort them out later with uh, maybe more Battleforge things as time goes on. But the Famed Armor kind of works. Kind of sorts itself out. 85 for 12. Don't really like the 85 for 12. Do I have much of a choice? Probably not. Unfortunately. What do I have here? 115 for 14. 10 for that. There's the... No, I don't like that. Uh, 2 for the shoulder pads is okay. Cloak is a minus 1. Sing looks amazing with a cloak. I don't have a tier 5. That's weird. I don't have any tier 5s. I mean, I've got the rivets. What 
Wait, why is... Wait a minute, chat. Wait a minute. Was there a spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh, God, it's a Necro. Why is... That's weird. Okay. Fatigue penalty of wearing body armor is increased by 25%. You want... I guess some heavy builds want you to increase your fatigue cost. But that is weird. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, the cape was good. So I got Sing the cape, and the cape looks amazing. Uh, there's no other capes that we have, right? No, 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 we're good. We're good. Nice. You no know, lightning grand slam? Could be. One only have one, two, three, four melee attack. He's got one, two, three. Nice. Nice. More piercing, the other had 40. Yeah, the other one had like 40 piercing, probably. Roki's got a spin, and then we will head out and finish this quest. So, let's save and get this spin done. Sorted with events. Okay. Day 46. Is there cultist events at this stage? Maybe we get a conversion? It's an archery contest. Okay, I'm fine with that. Last of the Living and Regime Gate gain one resolve. Oh. Dang it, they didn't get actual range stats. Would have been nice for the range stats, but that's okay. We lose 60 ammunition, but it's not like we're... I guess we're kind of running low. Yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, okay, so next what is Lavs and Ewillens are yelling with stories. The cult... the... is it the Cripple? No, it's the Poacher and the Thief. Poacher and the Thief have good stories to tell. That's nice. Nice events. But definitely rigged that we didn't get range skill. Oh, this is the event. Okay, chat. Abert the Philly Fiddler and Last of the Living Ranged wants to shoot the apple off his head. What's the worst that could happen? Last, you're good at archery, aren't you? I saw you shoot an arrow off of a fly's head, of course. Make sure you hit the apple. Um, last, I don't think you hit the apple. I'm just gonna say apples look a little different than eyes. Oops is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Philly Fiddler might be not looking so good. Shot him straight in the face. Yeah. Well, we could fix that. We do have unhappy bros, though. Barlow's upset? Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. You want the apple of his eye? Hey, exactly. The apple of his eye. Okay, let's, uh, let's do some happiness training to solve that issue. Oh, uh, actual, some repairing first. As we just got some tools from the shop. Hit points fixed. Good. Now, just to make sure cultist events don't bother us, I'm going to go and make some happiness training for everybody. So we don't want people to be screwed over like this. Just a couple of hours. A couple of hours of good old vibing chat. Last needs to be converted. Yeah, we, we need to make sure you guys do not have issues. As soon as Adam's apple, Adam apple is pretty bad. Don't want to go for that hit. Okay, dev tools turned off. Let's go south. Let's go get paid. I need to go to hole and holes first. Because then I can teleport with the boat. That'll be better. Okay, um, there goes the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Cameron. There's orcs. Okay, don't want to deal with that. Orcs are goblins. Goblins are raiding earlier. Stay safe. Daytime. Good stuff. Good meeting you, Mr. Lovely Patrol. Hello, Caravan. 18. That's a lot. Okay. They'll be safe. Maybe for three seconds. And Cell Swords 18 is not a lot. It's a lot for an early game to... Oh, that's a pretty cool minute arm party. In the early game, it's a lot for a guy to try and like... Oh, hey. I want to try and raid caravans on day one. That's not happening. But everybody else can do it. And we get paid three grand. Nice. That was a long-winded quest, chat. 
but it was worth it. I can do a follow the tracks for some more cash. That actually is not a bad idea. That'll refresh the town and give me a chance at a new bro. That's not a bad idea as well. I like the thinking. Let's do this. Sort out this inventory that's a bit messy. Uh, oh, I like that tier two. 65 for eight. That's a good tier two. Can I give that to somebody? Oh, wait, so why are you wearing crappy armor? Well, then again, I probably shouldn't be answering that question. Um, Sev, you should probably get this tier two. Where is it? Yeah, it's a good tier two. Brigantine armor is nice. 65 for eight. And so is the chainmail layer. Also very nice. There you go, man. You're totally sorted now. Uh, we follow the tracks. We should camp for a couple of seconds just so we repair it. Because I hate you? No, 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 Sev. That's... Who's been feeding you those lies, my man? It couldn't be farther from the truth. Sacrifices are for good for the cause. <laughs> Blame GB, yeah. It's GB's fault that you're not sacrificed yet. Oh, not into the swamp. Out of the swamp, boys. Out of the swamp. Yep, out of the swamp. They have a killer, which is not too bad. They got a single leader. Yeah, yeah, we got this. That's the snowman. That's pretty harsh, throwing Sev's rags in like that. Hey, hey. We all need sacrifices, chat. To move forward, you gotta pay. In, in a little bit of death. Drazus is back. Did you miss something? Drazus, did you miss something? That's the question of the century. You may have missed a very, very, very big fight. And we only lost one bro in it. Yeah. And you know what, chat? You guys can get a prediction for this. Screw it. I know I said the last fight didn't need a prediction. The super easy one. But this one can take a prediction, just because I, I think this fight's easy, but if you guys want something crazy, maybe it changes. Drace says you saw that fight. Oh, you did see the fight. How long were you away then, Drace, this? How much did you miss? Drace gonna said I want my throwing weapons. Oh, okay, so you didn't miss much. No, no, you didn't miss much at all. You won 11k last bet you were trying to lose stuff, Seb. Seb, you're trying to donate to the community? And you won points? <laughs> Task failed successfully. Not long, only short funds. Just raise this. Oh, that's not too bad then. Yeah, yeah, you're fine. You didn't miss much then. Nothing to worry about. He will Let's put you in the front center. You're fine. So Austrian says he donates 1,000. That's very kind of you. Uh, Regine, would you kindly set someone on fire? Let's set out their own ranged guys on fire because I don't like them. Good. They deserved it. <clears throat> Barlow, would you kindly... Yeah, that. Thanks, man. Uh, KQ doing okay. Crozen, what are you doing? Waiting. Gagball, you don't have the best accuracy, my man, but you are learning. Eh, it was worth a try. Going all in with your 700 points, says Alan. Nice. <clears throat> If everybody votes the same thing, remember chat with the predictions, you don't get much out of it. But, I mean, you don't lose. So as long as you get it right, you don't lose. Good split by Singh. Missed a 73, though. That is unfortunate. Nykrix. Yeah, we'll move you up a bit. Hey, it is with the good hit. Hi, doggy. Hi, double doggy. Sinispelli over here. Good stuff. Now my donation means that people get a decent amount of snowballs. That's true, GB. You donated 4.3k. Nice to the three. There you go. Donations all around. Sev, you go give Gagball a nice uh, amount of entrenched. Moha, good stuff. If you lose a bro, I'm ruined, says Lolly. <laughs> it's fine. Unless something really silly happens, I think we'll be okay. 
Follow the tracks quests are usually pretty easy. Is there and a if spin that I missed? I missed a spin? Oh god, it's a necro. After I said that, Bavarian, did you have to spin? Look at him spinning something like crazy. Okay. Okay. In the top corner, does the king show up? It's just an archer. Okay. I was worried. It's okay. He's not the king. He's maybe the southern king, dethroned. But he's not that bad. Phew. Oh, and he's sniping them. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Thank Davkul, yes. Thank Davkul indeed for all of our lovely blessings. Oh, weird counter snipe. Thank you, buddy, but okay. I hate enemy marksmen, but luckily I can deal with them. Last time we had an archer, someone lost their eye. That is true, but that was friendly fire. So friendly archers. Oh, he wins rolls a 25. Not as accurate as I was hoping, but that's fine. South flank, I'm getting a little overrun. Need to get these quill kills fast. Okay, okay. Roki, you're losing your armor. That's not good. Never been so invested in a Battle Brothers fight, not even my own. My palms are sweaty, says Lolly. Oh, it's alright. It's not that hard of a fight. I'm sure your palms are sweaty, and your knees are heavy, and you don't have to worry too much. As long as you have mom's spaghetti, you got nothing to fear, but fear itself. 5% stone hit, as expected. Regime, it's up to you to counter snipe for me, please. That's what I needed to see. Let's go. <clears throat> Roki sacrificed himself for the bet. <laughs> Roki, would you do it? Would you do it for it? Eminem fan? <laughs> I don't listen to much Eminem, but there's a couple of his songs that are pretty catchy. Uh, Roki, let's go here. Right? That's not too scary, is it? Unless it's Arkham... Arkham Bow the Rat. What a cool name. This game really comes up with some cool names, chat. Sing with a good sweep. Frozen with a good 50. Oh, no. Nicrix? 70? 70 Nicrix. Good stuff. Does the event count as a broken sniper friendly fire bingo? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. That's That has to be in combat. That's just a fun event. I like your thinking, though. But no. There's a mod that hasn't had 300 plus names. Ooh, Grim. That sounds pretty cool. The more names, the merrier. No, that didn't work. Oh, the killer's very scary. Roki, you might actually die. <laughs> Roki, I'll protect you. Hey, Sincipelli gets a beautiful dash on the killer. Perfect. Totally planned. Anyways, uh, net the raider just because we have a free net. Killer's actually a little bit scary. Cake, you stick back. Roki can't do anything. Okay, that's fine. Eh, that's fine. Need a mod where named enemies are named after chat or bros who died? Yes, that I hopefully will get as part of the integration. Gotta get that stuff happening. But yeah, Twitch integration would be a really cool addition for this game. Getting named chat enemies would be awesome. Oh no, the killer's faster! Thank god he missed. Stinking killer on the run. He's on one health. Is that on the bingo? We haven't done that yet. No, it's not on the bingo today. Stinking killers, man. Which integration in a year? Well, it's not getting worked on very fast. I'll tell you that. And it's not up to me. That's the thing. Like, I'm not a modder. So things don't really revolve around me all the time. As much as you guys wouldn't like to think. Surprisingly, things don't revolve around me. <laughs> but... I'll keep thinking and finding ways of getting things done, chat. I know, Drees is such a shocker. Maybe one of these days the world might revolve around me, but it's not today. It'd be a weird world if it revolved around me. It'd be very weird. You guys wouldn't like it. You guys already hate my food tastes. What else would it be? You guys would not approve. 
That's impossible. I named my firstborn after you. Thanks, Lolly. <laughs> At least someone gets me. There we go. <laughs> oh, I'm finally being recognized, chat. Finally. <laughs> That'd be more mods for BB. That's true. BB would get better. Under my my lovely Dictorian rule, chat. More BB mods for everybody. Vote me for president. Vote me for dictator. <laughs> Hey, Roki gets a good kill. Good stuff, buddy. Who taste what taste? Exactly. See, that's the right way to look at it. What taste do I have? Okay, I've been counter sniping these marksmen and they're still here. Eventually they'll stop. Maybe. As I miss a 71. If someone could get me started mod making BB, I would join the cause. If you want to learn how to mod BB, by all means, there are ways to do it. Uh, there is a modding Discord chat, so over here, not in my Discord, but here I'll show you. If you want to learn how to mod BB, there's actually a Discord for modding BB, and there's a bunch of modders in there that just chat about modding and coding, and if you want to ask for help, there is actually help here if you want to learn about it. Uh, I think I have the, do I have the link in my own Discord server under helpful links? Yeah, I do. So if you want to learn about it, there you go. BB modding, and if you want to talk about modding in Legends Mods server as well, that works as well. There is a position modding help. So there's people who can learn about modding there, asking about code and stuff. It's really tricky though, because everyone says the spaghetti code of BB is really hard to work with. So be careful about that. And if you're new to modding, that might be a bit of a turnoff per se. So be careful with it. But that's if you want to get started and learn and ask questions, that's the way. That's the place to start. Indomitable dictator, yes, definitely the indomitable dictator. Started dabbling a while ago. It's not bad, says Grim. Oh, that's good to hear. I'm glad to hear it's not too bad. But I've definitely heard some stories. That's on one health again. Can you just bleed out or something, buddy? You can't just live on one health. That's not how it works. Okay, well, the Nomad Archer did not survive. Contrary to popular belief, he did not survive. Okay, thank you for your efforts, Mr. Monk. Can I snipe the archers? They're hiding from me. Okay, reach him. Nice. Nice! Okay, they're no longer hiding from me, chat. Not a double kill. Dang it. Dang it. Oh yeah, if you want to get mods... Sorry, Doom King. Forgot to answer that question. Uh, Nexus Mods has most of them. If you guys want to know the mods that I play with, please do remember. I always have my mods in mod lists. So all the mods I use here are right here on my mod lists. And if you want to find out how to get these mods, you go to Submod Chat pinned messages, and that's where all of my sub-mods are put. Including the ones that I commission as well, so I've got some cool ones from my YouTube series. All sorts of mods that I've used on stream and all that fun stuff. So don't forget, if that's how you want to find the mods, I have an easy way of getting it. But if you want to search for your own mods or find new ones on Nexus Mods, that's the way to do it. Nexus Mods has a lot of them. Also, the Legends Mods server, fudge, I forgot to mention that as well. Okay, slight distraction chat. The Legends Mod server itself has a submod chat. So in Legends Mod, submod chat, they have... They've got some pinned mods as well. They also have some very hilarious memes. Uh, but they also have new mods that pop out every now and again. Is it submod chat? Yeah, I think it's submod chat that does it. Yeah, I think it is. Because they're... Where's the other submods? Jimmy has his Twitch. Is it is Submod Files? Where's Submod Files? They moved it to the top. Oh, when did they do that? It used to be next to Submod Chat. Okay, never mind, chat. Ignore what I said. They moved Submod Files to the top. Submod Chat talks about Submods, whereas Submod Files actually has all the files. Yeah, they changed it. 
So this is where all the mods are. Sorry. There's Dragon Slayer, which is a new one. Oh, that's interesting. Separates the Berserk inspired great sword from Fantasy Brothers. Ah. <laughs> yes, people did like that sword. And now there's loot boxes. That's pretty cool. Nice. So we'll play around with some of those in the future. As we like to do so. But you guys can play around with them too in your own spare time as well. Anyways, gotta get out of here. So am I on Jimmy's Discord? I don't think so. I'm not on many other people's discords in terms of like I missed? I missed people's discords. Oh god, it's a necro. Have I seen his streams? No, I didn't have time to check his streams out. But I didn't know he was streaming because he did post it, so I saw it. But I did hear he was doing stuff about dev development stuff for the mod. So that sounds fun. But I didn't catch his streams. I might have to catch maybe one of them. Random undead chat, really? Okay, that's manageable. He's annoying, but he's manageable. Hello, Mr. Treasure Hunter. Long time no see, buddy. Long time. Wish I didn't see you. One thing I am worried about, but he might start fleeing, because everyone's fleeing. Archibald might not be a threat. Archibald, could you just leave, buddy? I would appreciate it. Archibald? Archibald's not leaving. Archibald. Come on, man. We want his axe. No, his axe is not famed. That's just a normal axe. That's a normal shield. I don't think he has any famed items. Unfortunately, I would love him to have some famed items, but it doesn't look like it. His axe will give me money, though, so I can't say no to money. Cake, you brutally murdered the dude. Nicely done. Sing gets a good kill. Uh, Regime, I need you over here. Roki, stay out of the fight. You're taking too much damage. Barlow, go chase the treasure hunter. And... Gotta get rid of this dude somehow. You're fleeing. The zombie's gonna chase you. Because you're stupid. 72s. Can I use a net? Looks like helpful link section hides message history, so I can't find links to the mod community. It does? Are you a snowman in my Discord? You gotta make sure you join as a snowman. Like, go to the start here, get rolls thing, and join as a snowman. I'm pretty sure that's how I did it. Permissions for snowman, view channel... Read message history. Yeah, so you gotta join as a snowman for the group. So if you can't see anything in the Discord, you've missed out on correctly joining the Discord. <laughs> it's kind of annoying, but it's a way to help, like, you know, keep the Discord safe and get rid of bots and stuff. But you gotta go start here, get roll, and you gotta react to this one. Which means you've read the rules, you comply to the rules. You click the thumbs up, it makes you into a snowman, and then you get access to all the Discord. Other than the sub areas, which is what happens when you sub to the channel. And you link it to your Discord account. But hopefully that helps and makes sense. 1480? Yeah, we actually have a lot of people on our Discord. We have over a thousand people for sure. Very popular stuff. <laughs> people love the mod lists, people love the mods, and it's it's doing well popular group and I appreciate the support I'm glad everyone's having fun and enjoying the content and keeping up to everything you got the role in the link channels blank for me hit uh, refresh discord go control R and refresh discord can you talk to each other on discord I mean if you text each other on discord it kind of works <laughs> are you saying talk to me because of like the popularity thing <laughs> We're talking right now, Wingate, so you're doing a good job. <laughs> Can someone share it in chat? I'm eating right now. Wait, share what? 114k people watching this, 1400 watching the stream? That'd be pretty sick. That'd be crazy. I don't think... You know, maybe one day. Maybe one day. I don't want to say never, but then again, I never thought I'd be this big, so... 
It happens. It happens. Like, put the mic on and talk to Cake, not to me. Oh, you mean talk to me? Talk on stream with the voice chat. Maybe. Not really the plans I had. Oh, there's the kill. That's good. But yeah, the talking on stream wasn't really much of a goal. But yeah, you want to post the link? Oh, the refresh helped? Okay, glad to hear it, Alan. I was worried for a second, but it is something with Discord. Discord's a bit weird. It's kind of like Twitch, but Twitch is weird for a different reason. Twitch has its moments, but Discord usually works if you refresh it with Control-R. Control-R refresh does help a lot of things. So yeah, Discord just has sync issues, I guess is the right word. And Twitch just, Twitch just gets weird. I don't know. Twitch just has its days. And then Streamlabs just has its moments as well. It's a big fiasco of everything. But luckily, on the good days, it's not a dumpster fire. <laughs> and things actually work. But yeah. Okay, this should be the finishing part of the fight. We have two people going after Mr. Zombie. We missed a 72. Oh, I gotta put Moha a little bit closer. But Barlow, you should be able to knock the daylights out of this dude. You didn't proc... You didn't proc his 9 lives? Oh, you got him to 12 health. Fancy. No 9 lives. Sing gets bitten. Hopefully Sing does not turn into a zombie. Oh! Stupid... She came back! The poacher came back as a zombie. No, no one died. The poacher died, but the poachers returned. Thanks for coming back. She wanted... She missed us so much, chat. I feel bad for her. She missed out. Let's go for the fire arrow. Let's send her back down in fire. Holy fire takes her out. Proc the nine lives. Does not get the kill. Because we're too exhausted. Okay, nice try, buddy. Barlow. Sing, and it's over. Nice, easy fight. No deaths, as predicted. And it's nice that you guys are donating snowballs to each other. A lot of snowballs predicted and given away. For the rich to the poor, the Robin Hood of chat. We also get some decent equipment. No crashes, Legion. I'm always on the scare for save corruptions with Legends. Not Legends. Cell Swords. So I don't want any more save corruptions. That is not what I want. So thank goodness for that. Nice quest complete. Looking good. Timing was good. The timing was good. It was good timing. Whenever I'm transitioning between scenes, there's always a chance for a crash. Like if I'm saving... If I'm exiting a fight, if I'm spawning something in... Well, spawning something in doesn't usually crash the game. Not always. Killing something could. Yeah, there's there's some good moments where it could happen. Bit of training montage. We're actually finishing the stream soon. We're almost at the five hour mark. Uh, I don't think we have time for a training montage, but there is a patrol quest. Ooh. I kind of want to do that. Is that a lot of money? 35 times 166. That's 3,500 plus, uh, it's like 5k. That's about 5k. Just over 5k. That's pretty good. I want that quest. So what I might do, chat, is... I'll clean up the party. Maybe get a couple more hirees. Teleport around with some shopping across the cities. And sit back here at Kroon and Krug for next week. Because there's a nice bunch of cities I can teleport to. And try and fill up this party. Because we did lose some people today, unfortunately. But we always have the possibility of getting more. So that'll be good. Good question. Is Napoleon of a hex leader of a boss? Bingo. No. I like your thinking, Mactabilis, but none of those guys were bosses. Even though two of those guys were on our side, which is kind of weird. Chat summons a boss means, like, an actual boss. It's got to be, like, the Ajirok, the guys, the Kraken, the Queen is technically a boss. Those types of bosses. But I like your thinking. 
It's just not technically a boss. Okay, who do we have? Caravan Hand could be dumb. Nope. Ironmonger? Nope. Okay, I don't know why, but Widows are freaking cracked. I don't know why Legends has buffed them. But chat, tell me. Tell me that is not the best $160 you ever want to spend in your life. Is there a spin that I missed? I missed tell a spin? me. Oh god, it's a Necro. How is that not the best $160? I know she's got horrible health. But we can fix that. Because she probably has Colossus. Oh, she has Colossus. Does she have Resilient? She has Promise Potential. Like, on God. Widow Run with Promise Potential. Like, what happens if she actually goes crazy? She's the God Cripple, except she's not a cripple. She's a Widow, but... The fact that Widows get Promise Potential is weird. She could be a Staff Bro, 100%. She could be a Spear Bro, Staff Bro. Maybe Axe if I feel like it. Because she's got good defense. She's got big game hunter, which is insane. If she stays low health the entire time, if she ever gets nudist, that would be stupidly broken. Nudist, low health, big game hunter. Except big game hunter got nerfed, so it's not even worth it anymore. But back in the day, you could totally game it. Yeah, anyways. Uh, this dude's pretty cool. We'll keep her. But... We'll see if we can get another spin from Barlow. <laughs> Seb wanted the spin, of course. Uh, Widow for the win. What else do we have on this day? There is... Mm, Ironmonger's not really that great. Okay. So we just that. There's a Nudist option? Well, no. Nudist is a super rare perk that we always chat about because of how insanely, disgustingly strong it is. But it's super hard to get. And it's only really found on the Berserker Origin character. The Berserker Commander. And... Where else do we see Nudist Chat? I, I really don't see it anywhere else. It's usually just the commander. Yeah. But, like, Nudist is super powerful, so if we ever find it on a random bro, like, maybe a, maybe an apprentice could learn it? Yeah, but I think it's just Berserker. I think it is. What's this perk nest of Flast and Furious? That is Delay. Half of your fatigue costs are covered every third attack, which is, yeah, it's alright. Nothing fancy. Theoretically, with the Wheel of Fortune, is it possible to have it given to somebody? No. Unfortunately, with the Wheel of Fortune, I don't have a way of giving random perks to people. That is not my ability. Maybe in the future, if I get that mod upgraded, because I kind of want to upgrade the mod as time goes on, I just don't have a way of giving random perks to people. I can give perk points if they have the perk. I can give traits that are completely random, so somebody can become the Chosen of Dav Cool as a trait. Someone can become Mad, which is what we've given out in the past. I can give good traits to people. I can't give bad traits to people. So yeah, there's all sorts of interesting things that could be done if I get it modded in. And that is going to be a future goal for me to upgrade on my modding tool. And uh, yeah, that, that'll be interesting. But possible option for the future, maybe. Wingate says, Battleforge with Brawny Axe build as extra damage to shields. Oh, that's true. I could do that for that build. Because Axes against shields is good. Because PTR makes it viable. So whenever you break a shield, you get four action points back. So Axes are pretty scary now, and uh, shields do not threaten them. So you're right. I could put Axes there. I don't want to do another sword build. Yeah, I'll consider it, Wingate. I'll consider it. Uh, let's get the name in here first, and then do Barlow's spin. So, name spinner up and running. Let's add everybody in. And we spin. Looks like a possible dagger, bro. Yeah, he doesn't have a dagger, though. So, you are already in the team. So this is not your character. You get yourself a positive trait. Congratulations, man. Sev, the rebuild. I said um, on day one, I said when you joined the team that there might have been a chance that you redeem yourself, but I was not hopeful in the slightest. But look at you now. Look at you now. Okay, we have Bleeder. We have Swift. Bloodthirsty. Sev has come back with a vengeance. Insanely.
insanely ready for vengeance. I know he's a tank, so it's not really the right trait to get, but, you know, it's something. It's something. Okay, instead of Sev, who is it? How many times did Sev suffer to get at this point? Well, Sev was a cheap gambler that I bought way back, how many days ago? 41 days ago. Because we were getting close to a sacrifice event, and I said, okay, I'm buying this cheap gambler because he cannot get converted. I'm using him as a possible sacrifice to save my more important bros. For 41 days, Sev has never been the choice of the sacrifice event. He has dodged sacrifice after sacrifice, and because we've been doing so many caravans and stuff, he's gotten five free levels, so he's always higher level than everybody gets sacrificed. So he just outlived the sacrifices. And 41 days is practically almost the beginning of the run. So Sev just is like, persevered. And Kate got sacrificed instead, that's the funny part. I didn't want, I did, kind of didn't want Cake to die. I wanted Sev to die, but Cake died. So yeah, he's gotten lucky. He's gotten really lucky. And he's never ditched us in terms of like happiness as well. He's been okay with the people dying around him. So it's fine. Davkul chooses us. We don't choose Davkul. Yeah, he chooses his chosen. We are just pawns. That's all we are, chat. We're just devoted. Okay, let's see. If it wasn't Sev, who is it? Who's the brand new widow? Ulrich, welcome to the team. Long time, no team. Happy to have you. And you are PP DPS. Because that's amazing. Promise Potential could get you really strong if you get the nice bonus. Because remember, chat, Promise Potential gives you 5 to 10 stats everywhere. Between 5 and 10 stats. Refunds all your perk points, including the ones spent on this perk. And also refund doesn't refund the Punching Bag and the Trauma Survivor. Because you get those for free if Promise Potential is successful. And, yeah, it's just good. So, I can't wait to play around with that. And same thing with Astat. If we get Promise Potential, the nice free stats makes you amazing. But it's a coin flip, so you never know. You have to get lucky. So, good stuff there. Let's get Barlow's spin before I forget. Streamlabs didn't fail me for once? What? What timeline are we living in? Weird. Anyways, I'll get random events. Thank you, Barlow. Oh no. Not this event. It's day 50. Yeah, that does make sense. It's day 50. Mad Crow, just because you're insane doesn't mean you need me to be insane. Time for Expert Snow has problems. I don't think we go higher. I don't... I mean, we could vote for it. Yeah, we'll pull it, chat. We'll pull it. This run could end pretty quickly if we go pretty far deep, but let's see how we go. Um, what difficulty... Team mod if fire to choose. Do we go? Uh, easy. Normal. Expert. Legendary. Okay, I'm not typing correctly, or... Extreme. Oh, I can't fit them all in there, so I'll get rid of easy. Um, insane. Let's see, I need to do this. I need to do... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, that's good. That's good. And you guys get to vote. Perfect. So, vote for that. And what are we at the moment? We're currently at Legendary. So we're at 85%. That is currently where we're playing. So why the reason why it says Recommended, it always has a Recommended tag next to the one you've currently been playing from the beginning. So remember, chat, if you choose a high difficulty, that's a higher chance the run ends. Uh, Expert is what... So... The way Cell Swords is designed to be played is around expert mode. The developers, the modders of Cell Sword, have specifically said, do not play this mod on Legendary. That is in their words. I, however, have not listened to them. Once. Maybe, no, no, I played expert once. 
But every other time, I've played it on Legendary. Snow's a masochist, and you guys enjoy it, so it works. But, I've not... I mean, we pumped it up to Insane once, and we got our asses kicked, so... Insane just makes the scaling faster. So going down to Expert's not bad. It will make this run last longer. Staying on Legendary could push the limits of our team. We have been struggling a little bit as of late, but... I'm glad that chat's being kind tonight. I do appreciate it. Because hear me out, chat. 75%, 85% is not a big difference. Lowering it down to 75 is not too bad. But going to is there a spin that 80, is? 85 a spin? to 100, that's pretty bad. Oh, God, it's a necro. Thanks, Laughs, for the uh, spin. And Alan, you're 100% right. Cell Sword's difficulty curve is a vertical line. It's just, it never stops. It, Cell Sword's just carries on without you, doesn't give a crap. Whereas Legends, you can kind of claw your way back. And when you play PTR, it's hard to crawl back, but if you put a lot of effort into PTR, you might just crawl back from a bad situation. But Cell Swords, you ain't coming back. Okay, so it's a tie, chat. Um, I think I will do a coin flip. Yeah. I could break the tie myself, but you know what? Let's do coin flips, chat. Coin flips are fun. Coin flipper. Okay, so. Did we win the run or did we lose? No, no, we're fine. High, high is five. We're just at day 50. Uh, expert is heads. Legendary is tails. Expert is heads. Legendary is tails. The coin has spoken. The coin of Dav Cool says continue on legendary. That is... It's fine. It could be worse. Could be better. But we continue the legendary. And as a slight boon, which is... This isn't really a boon. It's just a silly slap in your face. Like, haha, you totally deserve this. Uh, you get a little bit of stat bonuses to a few bros. And they're not good. They're not good stats. Every time you do a poll, chat tries to troll you. I appreciate it, GB. But it does happen. It happens. Especially today's stream. Like, earlier today when we played Thea. Every single chat poll went to 50-50. It was like, what's the point of chat polling if everything goes to 50-50? <laughs> Nah, it was fun. It was just hilarious. It was hilarious that you guys completely planned it perfectly. I don't know how you did it. But you guys did it again today where it's a 50-50. You guys are getting better at it. And I'm getting scared. <laughs> Anyways, that's a good first event. Uh, was that first or second event? I think it was first. Last, try and knock down the cat with an arrow. Thank you for the permanent slurring skill. The cat gets eaten by the kids. What a surprise. And one more. Okay. Maybe I should have ended on that one. Okay, the game hates me. Uh, we'll be back. Last, this is your roll. No, I'll do your spin after this. This is uh, Legion spin? Barlow spin. This is Barlow spin. Did I do Legion spin? Did I? I think I did. Legion, correct me. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I did your spin. Legion's was combat. Ah, that makes sense, because I was like, I didn't buff Legion for anything. Yeah, you voted for the legendary tie, not sorry, says Dark Rage. Thanks, man. Thanks. Barlow suffers a fierce severe cushion. Okay, so that's the last event from Barlow. Thank you, man. Uh, enjoy your drunkenness. Enjoy the con concussion. <laughs> That's a horrible injury. Concussions suck, man. Absolutely horrible. Uh, and now we go for last spin, which is the last spin of the tree, the stream. Perfect. Poetic justice. Is that? That's so close to a yellow. You guys get yellows way too often these days. That is so close. Well, minus a bad trait's pretty good. We still have a couple of bad traits to work around. We've got Fear of the Undead. We've got... Hate for Undead is nice. Uh, who else is new? Sev has Bleeder, which is... It's alright, I guess. It's not the worst trait to worry about. We have worse ones. Kind of. Yeah, I think... Fear of Undead's annoying... Hockey on the Philly Fiddler is annoying. We will have to clean that up eventually. 
and then fear on that. Both is good. Both is always good. I know. But, uh, last, what are you thinking? Do you want to clean up the bleeder? Do you want to clean up one of the fear of undeads? Or do you want to clean up the cocky on the Philly Fiddler? Last is clean me up. Wait, which one's last? Oh, this one is last. Sorry, last. Of course, clean yourself, for sure. I totally ignored the fact that that was actually you. I just glossed over it because I need to go to sleep. <laughs> but yes, that is something I missed. Thanks, man. So clean up last with his fear of the undead, and now he's just lucky. Pure luck. Hopefully that makes a nice enough difference. Happy to hear it, man. Okay, so what we need to do quickly, chat, before we finish up today, is I'm going to quickly teleport around the towns and see if we can get one more bro, because we're kind of cleaned out at the moment. Yeah, that's that's too much to worry about. So let's go and teleport to Harkin Dock. 130 bucks, nice and cheap. Do you have a new bro for us? Widows are crazy. Mm, one and one's not too bad. Taylor sucks. Housemaid plus two is interesting. Fisherman for 1.1 grand is a bit expensive. You're not dumb, so you're not worth it. You're not dumb, so you're not worth it. Beggar's useless. Is the house housemaid's not worth it? There's no way she gets good. She's got a white awaking chant. What is that? Also, party size increase. 49 with 2. Mmm. That's not worth it. Awaking chant. Unlocks the active skill to let you be able to convert fatigue to action points. Also unlocks the recover skill. What? Fatigue to action points? That's interesting. Insane fights today and back-to-back. -back, it's not even crisis start yet. No, it's not. It's not even the crisis yet. Make sure you have the lowest sacrifice ever recruit is. That seems broken. I don't think it's going to be broken, though, because hear me out, chat. It's going to cost a lot of fatigue. But if you get a ton of fatigue, like, what if you get... Here we are. Skillful stacking. Five or two cover if you... No, they changed it. But before the storm's good. Recover 3% maximum stamina. That plus Waking Chant. Plus, does this one give you 25%? No, that's that one. They changed it. Dang it. There's perfect fit to make things cheaper. Medium armor gets you an extra 5 fatigue per turn. No, but you want it to be... You want it to be light armor. Light armor is better for Waking Chant because you want to have the maximum fatigue. Yeah. I know, we're not going to get her, chat. I'm just seeing this is a really cool build, and this is a really weird perk. It's really cool, though. We'll have to try it sometime if we get lucky again, but I don't think she's worth it. She's 79. 79 is really weak. Full arm doesn't really get her very far. She doesn't have fast adaptation. She doesn't have gifted. Nothing to boost her over the line of usefulness. But I just wanted to see if the housemaid was worth it, and I wanted to see what that cool trait was, the cool perk was. I'll see if the widow's worth it. Probably not. 57 with plus one. No gifted. Promise potential's a thing. Maybe. She's the angry wife who yells at a man to make them work harder? Yeah, probably that. We got a few stat boosts. She's fine. Says high five. Yeah, I know. I know. But we'll be fine. Is this version Destroyed. of the potential to save the town for perks? Destroyed? Not really. But thanks, Sauron. 15% <laughs> you get protected on town quest. No, I don't know. Is that the new one? Save the town from the perks. Not sure, High Mongo, not sure. You raise with the special perk we have like no distraction from objects before the target. Yeah, that's a good one, Drazus. That's a good one to get for sure. Uh the widower is probably uh, it's alright. Not as good as this lady. This lady's great. I'll ditch this dude. He looks funny in a dress, though. And she she's not wearing the dress. They swapped outfits. I swear they swapped outfits. Okay, uh, we ditch and we go to... Shift Bowen. Shift Bowen. Let's go there first. What do you guys have? Another Widower. Triple range skill and aggressive. Weird combination. I found a tank. 
I found a tank, and he has eight base defense, and he does not have shield experts. Son of a biscuit. I found a tank, though, because thieves are good tanks. So that is wonderful news. It's just sad he doesn't have shield expert. Why does nobody get shield expert when I want them to? But he has medium armor, so that's something. We can work around it. Okay. Um. Nope. 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 No. Okay, so I'm happy with the one dude, and I think that's it. I think that's all the places I need to check. Oh, I could check Luton Dock. Wait. Brawler, useless. Thief, useless. Fisherman's useless. Thief. Useless. Beggar. Useless. Is the Grave Robber worth it? Let me double check. <clears throat> grave Robber, Grave Robber. That is... Ah! Grave Robber's good. Let me check him out. Mm, he's a little expensive. But he is super cheap per day. But a plus one, plus one. I don't think that's really worth it. I can see rolls really good. Nah, I'm not gonna risk it. Not gonna risk it. I'm just happy with the tank I got. I'm okay with that. Let's go back to... It adds barter. Yeah, he did have the plot point zero three, but eh, I don't think it would make a big enough difference. Let's go back to Kronenkoog and set up for next week with a beautiful patrol quest. And we will name our brand new tank. Happy to have a brand new tank. And it's all good. Nimble without freedom movement is tough. Gotta go live. The freedom movement's right there. Maybe I do go dodge. I don't know. I I, I like medium just because it saves me effort. But I could go either way. We'll figure it out for next week. We'll see what happens. Anyways, any new names? High five will add you to the list. And we spin. So sort changed it. Yeah, it's it's up here instead of down there. It it's it's the old version of freedom movement. So Cell Swords didn't change it, that's the old one. And Donald Snow Wife. She's asleep at the moment. She has no idea she just got a bro. <laughs> I'll have to tell her in the morning. Oh goodness. Snow Wife is here as our tank. Welcome to the team, dear. She's got no idea. <laughs> How lucky is that? Okay, good little thief with uh, Athletic and Death Wish. Very helpful for a tank. Very helpful. And a Sad No Shield Expert. Can I get anything else that's good? I mean, Pathfinder's very helpful. Dog perks are pretty cool. She does like dogs. Uh, there's not much else that's super defensive, sadly. I guess Lone Wolf could kind of work. I'll consider it. I'll consider it. Don't let her die. <laughs> I'll never hear the end of it. I uh, made, made, maybe made a mistake, chat. Watch her immediately die in the first fight. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll have to have to work around that. Anyways. <laughs> Only good things can happen. Only good things can happen for sure. Everyone now we need to buff Snow's wife. Well, that that too. We could do that as well. Snow's wife to carry the team as the best tank. Possibly. Might have to just spin a few times. Yeah, I'll have to see how it works. You have to kill her chat, says GB. <laughs> GB, you can be the only one. The only one crippling for the team. We can't have Snow White bring us all down with the... The anti-snow luck. We'll see how it goes. But anyways, I turn the spins off because we have to finish up chat. I can't get too distracted. I gotta get to sleep. Gotta look after myself over the weekend because it does take a lot out of me to do all these streams. Make sure I'm in tip-top shape for all of them, which is important. But, 
Let's see. I vote we leave Snow Wife on the front line. <laughs> nah, maybe, maybe. I gotta make sure I get babysit some of you guys for next week as well. Very important. Keep those babysits nice and safe. Uh, fudge. Okay, let's fix that. Is that good? Yeah, yeah, I spelled it correctly. Okay. Chat, we're heading out on a raid. Supporting the community as usual and getting some extra lovely bonus points. What's the sword in the last tier list? Oh, that's the assassin perk. That's assassinate. It helps out with um, dealing damage to people when you're assassinating with, like, daggers and stuff. We'll go with that when we play the assassin run. But, all well. I hope you guys have a great rest of your night. Thanks for popping by for today and enjoying. Off on the raid we go. Supporting the community we go. And extra points we cannot complain. As we will see you tomorrow again. And I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. So we'll see you tomorrow for some nice co-op. And if you're able to make the American streams, which is always a tricky thing to do, you don't have to. You can always check the VODs. We'll do some more Legends as we are raiding some lovely caravans. And I think we just finished the Noble uh, the noble Crisis. We did. That was good. But, have a good sleep. Look after yourself, guys. Actually, it's technically midday for you guys, so it's not too bad. Have a good rest of your day. That'll work. I'll have a good sleep, and I'll see you guys sometime soon. Enjoy the raid. And thanks again, chat. Have a good one.